So anyway, it ends in this massive, this arg I've had an argument now for an hour or so, to and fro in. Um, I'm not, she, she's not paying anything, apparently. Yeah, she's, you know, it's just a try on. We're not paying anything, we're not paying, paying anything. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. If you don't want to pay, that's absolutely fine. But just to let you know, I'll be around tomorrow with a pickaxe. We're taking your drive up. When, so this woman's been vile to me, said she's not paying me a penny and all this carry on. I then quite rightfully so lose my rag. And then you get gaslighted. Oh, I'm a woman. You're threatening me. I'm calling the police, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you, Robert, you're trying to steal from me. What are you Right, everyone, uh, me and Fawzi, we just wanted to say thank Thanks you for ever so much biscuits. for all the biscuits Chocolate and crisps. They were beautiful. Really enjoyed them, didn't we, Fawzi? We did. Has your heart been uh, hurting a bit at the weekend? Just a little bit. Shaking a bit, sweating. Yeah. But we'll, we'll soon burn it off, won't we, mate? Yeah. Digging for a living. So, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, thank you again. Cheers. We've got to pull a silly face. <laughs> faster than the top. Goes down faster than a tire prostitute with a fifty dollar bill. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? So uh, this week we've got a skilled operator. He's a man whose name cannot be spoken in Thailand. Strikes fear into the heart of Lady Boys internationally. <laughs> Good morning, people. It's Nick at BNP Paving. Um, yeah, if you haven't already clicked, click the subscribe button. Please, it's important. It's really helping us grow as a business. Um, the amount of, uh, I mean, we didn't, it wasn't intention, it was just for a bit of fun, but we're getting quite a lot of work and leads coming in from people seeing this YouTube. So obviously the more people subscribe and the more people watch it, the more it gets out there and it's great for our business. So uh, yeah, thank you for those that have. Uh, and if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. Okay, so in this video, I wanna set a target so if you've seen, if you've even got to this point in the video, if you can just click the like button. And I don't know if people know, but what it does is the more likes it gets, the more YouTube think, oh, so people are liking this video and they circulate more and we get more views, more subs and so on. So if you can just click that like button, we'd love to get, say, what we got, just over 6,000 subscribers. If we could get 1,000 likes, that'd be amazing. It not cost anything. Please, please hit the like button. We'd love you to do it. Right, so let me tell you how my Monday morning's going. So first up, I wake up this morning, alarm clock goes off, and I'm still not very well. I've still got this bloody stomach cold, stomach bug. So, oh, great start. Not that you guys need to hear this on a Sunday morning, but there you go. Um, so that was my start to the day. So that kind of has thrown me off. Um, yeah, secondly, I'm starting a new uh, diet plan. So I am... Um, got uh advice to take to eat um bread with um avocado um which is kind of new to me i think i've tried it once before anyway for those of you some people love it it's a bit of a marmite some people love it some people love it but for those of you who have never had uh avocado before it's basically if you imagine you got one part broccoli and one part butter and you mashed it into a, a mash and then put it on bread and ate it, that's kind of where you're at. So it's kind of got the taste of broccoli, which I'm not against broccoli, but the consistency of butter at 10 mil thick, you know, it's like this thick on your bread. You're like, ugh, bleh. So I won't be doing that again, right? So then I set off to work and, oh no, tell a lie, let's go back a bit. Third, um, 
with Sky Digital was down again. I don't know if you guys have got bloody this Sky Q in your house, but I just have nothing but problems with it. I turn one box on, the other box goes off. Then it, the on-demand won't work. It's got no network. It, oh, God. It's been a never-ending, honestly. I think once I spent four hours on the on the phone to technical support trying to sort it out. So, um, yeah, that was this morning, trying to get the internet and the, the Sky back on. I'm, I'm quite tech-savvy as well, so it's not like I'm an idiot, but honestly... It's so temperamental. They've probably done an update on the box or something and it's shut down again. Um, right, so then I realised I get in the van and my fuel light come on Friday and being lazy, I didn't fuel it up, but I've just thought, oh no, so now I've got to do it this morning. Um, so I go, petrol, everyone knows petrol station on a Monday morning. Ugh. So I get to the petrol station. Luckily this time it wasn't too busy. However, the petrol station in question, it's a strange one, it's a co-op one, I believe, but it's a petrol station and a sort of mini supermarket so what you do is you'll get behind some someone at the pump, waiting to get to the pump, and they'll fill the car, go in, pick up a basket, and then do a full week shop. So you're stuck there. You can be stuck there for like 30 minutes, waiting and trying to navigate your van around to get into a, you know. So I don't understand why you would do that. I mean, for those people who are watching this from Nottingham, using the Mapley Top petrol station, Plains Road, Mapley, don't do your shop there, please. It's ever so inconsiderate. Could you not just go to a normal shop like everybody else instead of doing your shop on a Monday morning at seven o'clock? So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then on top of that, this thing here, this bloody jet wash here is driving me crackers. So, Karcher jet wash, right? The most brittle thing known to mankind. So, if Karcher, we're going to tag you in this. If Karcher are watching this, your stuff is rubbish. And I'll hold to it and I'll, I'll stick by it, right? All right, if you keep it in your garage and you clean your car every now and again with it. Granted, this isn't a professional one, but I wouldn't buy a professional one based on the quality of this. You know what I mean? Like, so first of all, if you tap, it's more delicate than an egg. If you tap it, bits of plastic fall off it. It's it's just shoddy. It's, it's shoddily made. It's I'll show you it in more detail in a minute. I'll get out of the van. Secondly, any form of frost or freezing temperature all the pipes explode in it. So if you use it and it's got water inside it, you leave it at the back of the van, overnight it freezes, the, the water expands, the pipes split. So then you go to use it and it doesn't work anymore. Water's leaking out the bottom. It's absolutely useless. So what's happened is we've ended up having to keep it in the cab of the van. I, I'm normally empty this, during in and out in the morning. So it ends up going on the floor on the thing. However, it's 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 dangerous. It's falling around. I'm driving this morning. It's getting stuck on the bloody handbrake. It's falling down. I've like I've literally, I nearly had a Basil faulty moment. I'll flick to it in a minute. I wasn't going to put it on here, but I'm going to just to show you. I lost my rag. I had to pull the van over. I was going to throw it out the van window. I'm that angry with it. I can't put it on the roof rack because someone would steal it. I can't stick it in the thing. Eh? I can't stick it in the back of the van because if like something hits it, it'll just get smashed to pieces. You know, like if the mixer moves to, you know, if anything, like if, if a rake fell over in the van and hit it, it smashes lumps of plastic off it because it's so brittle. So yeah, if Carter are watching this, you need to make either a metal-based one, granted metal and water, but like a stainless aluminium shell or something like that. So it's a bit more durable and light. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I'll show you in a minute. It's so cheaply made. We've had um, other brands, like own brand B&Q ones that are probably better, if we're honest. Um, so I don't know where they get this rep from. Don't get me wrong, if you go up the range and go towards like your K3s, your K4s, things like that, they're great. And like you said, they are for, I suppose they bought for your sort of home use, clean your own patio, clean your car at the weekend. So they don't get, that, they're not travelled with that often. But they don't take into account people like us and they just get smashed up. And like you said, because of the quality of this, I've, I've looked into the... Um, I've looked into the professional ones and I just wouldn't dare buy one. I'm not spending a thousand pounds on a jet wash. It's just going to smash to pieces the first day it's in the back of a van. Um, so I know people are going to comment and say, we'll look after it, blah, blah, blah. Easier said than done. There's no way of stopping, you know, it's going to happen one out of 50 times. Something's going to, a shovel's going to, in the van in motion, is going to knock it. So, so I finally got here. I'm not dead, um, but you might recognise this job. Um, we've had a call back, but not for the reasons you might think. Not for shoddy workmanship. Quite the opposite. The one is back to do more. And let me explain. You know what? I'm fuming. I'm about to pull over the van, right? So this is a message to Karcher, right? We have to keep our jet wash in the front of the van because it's that fr it's it's more fragile than a box of eggs. Like if anything touches it, it breaks. Something snaps off it. If it's left in the back of the van and it gets cold, yeah, it all the pipes expand and snap inside it and it don't work. 
So over the years, we've learned we have to keep it inside the cab of the van to avoid damage or, or frost damage on it, yeah? Only problem is, every time I'm driving, yeah, it's all over the van. It's driving me absolutely mental. You useless human beings. That way, driving one more time, you can watch on video as I pick it up and throw it across the road. Honest to God, I'm gonna have a Basil, Basil Faulty moment with this fucking thing. Right guys, so I don't know if you remember, but this is one of the first jobs we did in the new year. I think it was in the new year. Um, one where Prince Harry turned up. Do you know what? If I remember rightly, I think the weather was better then than it is now. But anyway, so um, yeah, but the customer has decided after the fact, there was a discussion about it and originally she was supposed to have the whole front done. So it would be like a, this triangle. Uh, and after a bit of indecision and a bit of indecisiveness, she decided she would leave that and just and just have this bit done, which is what we've done. But then after the fact, decided to now do this bit. However, the problem with doing this is when we were here, we were already digging out. It would have been took away, all the muck. DJ would have come and grabbed that. And the materials and so on. Anyway, long story short, it was probably about a £1,000 of work. However, now to do it independently... It's about two, three grand of work. We've got to come back. It's probably going to take three days. We've got materials, blah, blah, blah. It's just an headache. So, um, yeah, it would have been ideal to do it. So I do feel bad for her. I mean, she's admitted fault. It's her own fault and she's happy to do what she's doing with it. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, she's lost a bit of money doing it that way. So note to all the customers and people watching this, you probably need to be a bit more decisive when you do these things because it can come and bite you on the bum a little bit so um yeah like i said it costs us a lot more to come back and do it than if we're already here if that makes sense uh because like i say what would have been an extra day's work is turning to three days work and a load of a load of carry on so anyway the boys are arriving ryan's here connell's just speeding around that corner illegally <laughs> we'll crack on hiya <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Living the dream. You're living the dream all time. You're on video now, and also you're a superstar. I'm a porn star. Porn star? Yeah. What's the category? Oh. Disabled old man. Yeah. <laughs> I do get a grip on you. What you been up to? Oh, good. Nothing. Boring. Can I be that? Um, out yesterday for a few It's all changed since you got that out. Eh? It's yeah. all changed since you got that out. <laughs> <laughs> Get them overalls. Uh, looks like Benny off Crossroads. <laughs> hey, you look like Benny off Crossroads. <laughs> you got anything sensible? No, not really. I turn video off now. Now you can be your normal self and swear and do whatever you want. best to dig to a line but sort of doing a triangular shape walk past the tree and down so if you see that we're going to get it out i'm going to stick it in a barrow it's not as we i thought it was a little bit more so it's it's not as big as we, we initially thought it was going to be um so there's probably not that much to dig out it's probably only a ton or two to go so uh this week we've got a skilled operator He's a man whose name cannot be spoken in Thailand. Strikes fear into the heart of Lady Boys internationally. <laughs> this is our uh, digger operator and mechanic, Sean. You've probably seen before. Dab and on Miss Lowe, any machine really. We've got all the gear and no idea, any Chris? He's uh, yeah, standing on crossroads. 
just said his name's internationally feared in Thailand. Speaking for the many lady boy, the old shake quiver. Quiver that lad. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> got his glasses steamed up, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh look I find a little trolley in my van look. A little troll. Poor old Connell, he's after we're, we're gonna attempt to get a ton of you nut up. We're gonna attempt to get a ton of stone in the back of here because we we need to get stuff here we're rapid. We're doing. Huh? We're not attempting, we're doing. There's no what is it? There's no uh, thingies round here. We can do, it's a can do attitude. It's nice to see you cleaning the port loo anyway. <laughs> Just don't touch any plastic bottles, whatever you do. So yeah, for any people wondering, in our game, where things, uh, yeah, where we have to go. This is our bathroom, it's beautiful. As you can see here, luxurious Chinese toilet with built-in B-Day, it's amazing. You never know what's gonna happen in this game. So yeah, just know, and keep it off your property. Right, so we've got here, unprepared. Um, so we are going to get some tun bags to put the rubbish in, or the rubble. We'll get that collected by DJ tomorrow. Ah! Sorry, our car's just uh, come flying up the road a bit too quick. Um, yeah, so we're going to get a couple of bags to put rubble in and we're going to get the grab here tomorrow, but we also need a ton of road stone to get, us on, to get going. I didn't order any on the load. Um, so we're going to have to uh, start picking things up. But luckily, the builders merchant that's nearby. I'm hoping they do tons of road stone. I've got this horrible feeling they don't. And if they don't, it's a bit of a trek. We're going to have to go to Lenton. But uh, we'll see how it rock and rolls. Won't we, Folds there? We will indeed. We will indeed. What do you get up to at weekend, Folds there? Beers. Had a few beers, Folger yeah. did. On uh, Saturday night, uh, Fol yeah. Folger went out, went out drinking. Not too crazy. Did you go to gym this morning, Folger? Did I, Bob? Did he, Bob? That's the three day, day isn't it? Had a day off. Yeah, it's bad yeah. news. It's bad news when you get past 20, 25. So, right, let's get to John A's. Well, this is probably not the most sensible thing I've ever done. However, needs must. Watch this go down lot. Oh no. I'll tell you what, over the years I've blown my suspension a few times, but this van, touch wood, is yet to fail me. What could go wrong, Folger? That's it, mate. Absolutely no. What could go wrong with carrying a ton of stone in the back of a van? <laughs> what are you getting, Folger? Yeah, uh, I mean, can I get five cappuccinos, please? Yeah, for you. Uh, that's it, thank you. Cheers. Ooh, ooh, big guns this morning. The, the viewers want to send some winners so we get some electric windows. Yeah. These wind up things you're in now. The little bit, the, the thing is now we're getting a bit tired at whirly gigs. <laughs> whirly gigs. We're too popular for this. We're getting tired of whirly gigs. You know what whirly gig is? For oh. Um you know them things you put in your garden what's been random dry washing? Yeah, that's yeah. what my, my nana used to call it, a whirly, a whirly gig. Yeah, Probably yeah. find out some racial slur. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've all got Connell's bank account details and that. Yeah, Cheers, yeah. mate. Thank you. There's the Mackey's man, living his best life. Yeah, it all goes by weekend. Well, your bank's at your grand zero every yeah. Sunday, isn't it? Grand, grand zero. zero. <laughs> So, I left the delivery order in late, I think I did it late Friday, which is all the delivery up today. Not their fault, mine, for being unorganised. So, we're having to come and pick everything up individually. So, we've just done a ton of stone, we need another half, we're just fetching that now. Then, we're going to come back and fetch some sand. 
and then we're gonna come back and fetch the blocks. Um, it's just gonna speed the whole process up. It's like half past 10 in the morning. I think the delivery is gonna be about two o'clock. So if we don't if we do not do it, we'll just be sitting around. So it's a waste of a day. So we're, uh, yeah, doing, it's a difficult way of doing things, but it will speed the job up. So yeah, uh, back to site we go. This is our second run, back to site, and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up the rest. We'll just keep doing runs with all these materials. The problem is I can only hold about a ton in this van. 700 kilogram or something, so. Uh. Okay, so we've just arrived back with a half ton of stone. We're gonna run it in now and we're just gonna get it in this uh as you can see here we're just a bit we're a bit short so we're gonna fill this hole up here with road stone this needs topping up a bit more down at this bottom end down here and uh yeah so that's the first thing um and then we've got to nip off again and fetch a ton of wash sand <laughs> so and then bring that back and then go fetch a pack of blocks so it's going to be one of those days but just shows you what we have to do and um, again it's my fault for being a bit unorganized um or a bit last minute um but it happens every now and again, but you've got to make it work. Right, so as you can see, things are coming to plan, going to plan, should I say. We're, uh, yeah, say the customer, the, 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 what I was told was it was about this big. So it, it's only tiny, it's just a little tiny bit. In my opinion, I don't understand why you would, but aesthetically she prefers it, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, so we're about there. We've, so basically we've got to tie it back into the existing driveway we did. So what we'll have to do now is all these cuts where the blocks have been cut, like this. Anything that's been cut will have to come out and then we'll tie it back into the original pattern and extend it out. Um, so as you can see, we stack the border blocks, we save them, we'll bang them back in. I'm waiting for some new blocks to arrive. Uh, we're supposed to be here by now, they haven't turned up. But yeah, we're making good time, so hopefully we should be done. I, I can't see it's not being done tomorrow, to be honest. Okay, so that is all the stone in. Chris is just knocking the last bit around so off on our travels again we've now got to go and fetch uh what we're we getting birds ton of wash off ton of wash something like that so we're going to travels now and fetch some more of that um yeah and then we'll have to go pick the blocks up okay so we're back at john a stevens in where are we west bridgeford, west bridgeford today and we've got a little half ton of wash coming i'm gonna stick that in back of uh back there. the old uh your rhino <laughs> in the back of the van so this sand will go in we'll get that out and then we'll be back here i'm going to pick up a full pack of blocks that are on top shelf up there uh and that hopefully is our last little dummy run of the day uh as it's getting a little bit tedious now going back and forth it's about a mile drive but yeah it's a bit uh a bit boring back Good, and forwards. right off we go folds there Good. how many runs have we done now is this the third what third. this is already third one more mate with it here. Next time you'll order the stuff on time, won't you? Here he is, look, happy bollocks. Always, always. The face of John A. Stevens. <laughs> he were May, he were May in the thingy calendar. Hey, yeah. Oh, he's still got the magic. We'll warmed up a bit, we'll do one later. Yeah, it's a bit nippy. We'll in the, the summer, we'll get the muffins off. In the on. summer, you get the best out. Get the muffins off. <laughs> I thought he was going to expose himself then. I did. That'd be frightening, wouldn't it, Folger? It would be good for the video, though, for the viewers. It reminds you of that time your granddad snuck in your bedroom with that whiskey breath, won't it? Hey! Good day, that one. Hey? That was a good day, that one. That's one of your favourites, wasn't it? Yeah. Look back fondly. You know, like the kind of nostalgia and love, like, in the film The Snowman? Oh, you know, like the, 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 like the nostalgia and the music, how like, it makes you feel inside? Connell gets that same when he smells whiskey on an old man's breath. <laughs> I don't know why, because now I'm getting paid. Yeah, you know he's getting some dough. That's how he used to earn his pocket money, innit, Folger? Do what you gotta do. Do it So morally, we shouldn't be loading it this ever. No, no, morally, you're bankrupt. Right, go down at that. Let's have a look what happens. Oh. You found it. 
faster than the tire. Goes down faster than the tire prostitute with a fifty dollar bill. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? The top. Or is it flat on the bottom? It'd be all right. Might spark a bit. Uh, no wrong with that, look. Safe as there, it used to be a gap here, didn't there? You're living in the past. <laughs> Police fire. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to be a police interceptor going four mile an hour, aren't I? <laughs> hey, I won't give up. I'll keep well, going. You won't struggle to catch, you will. Like I won't, don't need a sting. I've only got to go over a speed bump. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Oh, I don't want to do it. Right, so anyway, jokes aside, I'm going to have to edit this video massive because the stuff that guy just came out with was horrendous. However, oh, put that joke in. it continued. Yeah, it's fine. Viewers love it. Eesh. I don't know. Anyway, that actually has legal weight in it. That's allowed. However, whether it's sensible or not is a different question. However, it's needs must. And we're literally about half a mile from, from where we are now. So, we'll give it a go. Things are moving along nicely. We've got the area in now. You can see where it's joined here, where it's slightly higher because we went whack at it. It's all in, cut in, a few little bits to do. Cut here, look, concreting it all in now. Tomorrow we'll sort the lawn out and uh, lower it a bit, lift this man all into position, which is a really awkward position. But it's starting to look pretty good. A bit quick wash down in the moat. So there we go. Okay, so that is all done for today. It's a new patch here, or should we call it extension? New driveway extension. We've all concrete, all the concrete's in, but we've got to let it set now. This evening and, uh, for the morning, and we can't do anything much with it now because it will all move. So there you go. Good morning, everybody. It's Nick at BMP Paving. We are having a nice rainy day, as per usual. Uh, first thing, sometimes you've got to be careful what you wish for. So on Sunday, I discussed about people not buying uh, tap attachments for the back garden. Um, they always have like the outdoor tap, the little brass tap, but they don't have a uh, the little screw adapters. Uh, and then in the post last night, I got two. <laughs> I don't know if it's a bit of a joke gift to be honest. I've got enough to last uh, about three years now, so well no it won't actually but um yeah so I don't actually know um who sent these to be honest because I don't think they were labelled but um thank you very much it's very we're very grateful yet again so uh however sorry let's put something in the van so do good job however please don't feel the need to keep sending us stuff we were only messing around we're okay thank you so uh the problem i've got is i can't really return gifts and, and money to everybody who does it so we would uh prefer if you didn't at the minute i think that's enough for now so uh but thank you very much two hours later i have had to come away from the job i am absolutely fuming oh let me tell you all right okay so as i said earlier in the video we um we were supposed to be, we did this job in january and we were supposed to be digging out the whole driveway and replacing the entire everything getting rid of all the grass gone everything the tree the lot however the customer was very indecisive and was messing around and um yeah just just a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare um, and in the end, she decided that she wouldn't do the grass part of it. She's only going to do some of it. And uh, we reduced the price accordingly. So I think, if I'm honest, we knocked about a thousand odd pound off or something for, for doing that, for not doing that section. Um, 
And that was the end of that. We did the job, everyone was fine and we got paid. However, within a month, um, I start getting messages like, oh, I want the rest doing now. I've just, oh, I've got, it's my fault. I got it wrong. I should have done the whole lot, um, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, mm. and the problem I have is, and I'm always honest with people is, as a bigger company, we struggle with our overhead to do smaller jobs. We've got, them lads, everyone has to get paid, the four of us, every single day. Um, you know, the four of us, I can't just say to two of them, Connell and Ryan or Colin and Burks, don't come in. You know, it, it's how it works. I explained to the customer, um, I repriced the section she wanted doing up um, and it was accepted and a deposit paid and everything else, it's all booked in. So we get there Monday morning, which you've seen in the video, and I knew it was coming. I knew, because when we deducted the granddad off, I think she expected that to then, for us to come back, it would be the same amount of money, but it's not because we have we've got to come back, we've got, there's the labour, there's, you've got to get the JCB back, you've got to get a whole, whether you've got a ton on a grab lorry or the full lorry, you need another grab lorry, you've got to get the materials, you've got, to, so the costs start mounting up, um, you know, you've got to pay us all for our time again, it would have taken, you know, it's probably three hours extra work when we were there originally, but now it's become a two-day job, you know, three day, well, supposed to be three days, but I'll get there, right, so we turn up Monday, Everything's fine, price agreed, blah, blah, blah. We, we set out, she wants her whole lawn doing, and we set out the boundary, and her and her husband come out and say, no, we don't want that. We don't want that whole thing done. We just want it to here. So they make it smaller again, right? So I'm like, oh, okay. But I've put in three days. I haven't got anywhere else to work. That job is what we've got booked in. We've got three days booked in on that job. So I can't go anywhere else. I can't, you know. So anyway... Everything's fine. She sets out where she wants it. We get her out, and double check it. We triple check it when we cut the borders, just to be sure. Everything's fine, as you've seen in the video. All well and done. We complete. Yesterday we've done all the concrete, and today we went in. We set the manhole on concrete, reduced the lawn a little bit, topsoiled it, just did those finishing little bits, sanded, wackered. Didn't get that in the video, unfortunately. I do apologise, but I was off quoting. Um, all done. Knock on the door. We finished. Blah blah blah. I drive off. Phoned it. Um, I said, "Oh, if you can mind transferring the balance over?" You know. Um, get a ding on my phone. Um, yeah, um, I'm not happy with what we agreed because you said it was it's X amount for three days labour, but you've only been here for two days or a day. You've only done a day. I'm like, well, I haven't done a day. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning at this point. I'm like, I have to pay the boys for the full day. So it's two days. And also it's a price. It's not a day rate. Um, and the reasons the job's got done quicker is because you've made the job smaller again. So then I'm going to be penalised for it, you know. So we've worked really hard to get it done um, as fast as we could. We've, we, you know, we've done it to top standard, top spec. Um, I've got it done quicker. And then you're going to try and knock our wages for it. So anyway, it ends in this massive, this argument. I've had an argument now for an hour or so, to and fro in. Um, I'm not, she, she's not paying anything, apparently. Yeah, she's, you know, it's just a try on. We're not paying anything, we're not paying, paying anything. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. If you don't want to pay, that's absolutely fine. But just to let you know, I'll be around tomorrow with a pickaxe. We're taking your drive up or what we've done. I'm, I'm, you're not getting away with it. You know, we're not doing the whole court thing. Because if anyone knows about the court thing, it ain't worth it. For the amount of money that I'm owed, it, it's the stress, it takes years. You've got the fees. It's a, it's pointless. And this woman think... Oh, I found I can be disrespectful. I don't mean this woman. This customer, um, she thinks she's right. You know, they think they're convinced that they're right. So, you know, like, if you um, ordered a three-course dinner at a restaurant, one of these set meals, and at the end, and it was £19 or 20 quid, and at the end, you didn't eat your pudding, you wouldn't go, hey, I'm not paying the 20 quid because I didn't eat the pudding. Like, it don't work like that. You wouldn't have an extension built and... They quote four weeks, they get done in three, and you go, right, well, I've paid you 40 grand for your extension, and you said four weeks, it's only took three, so I'm only going to give you 30 grand. It don't work like that. But apparently it does in my industry. I, I suppose you guys in the comments, I wonder what you guys have to deal with. So she's adamant that I'm ripping her off, and I'm a cowboy, and you've only done it. Just trying it on. She was never happy with, you know, she was indecisive in the first place. She was never happy that then she had to pay more to have that same bit done. And it's just a try on. But anyway, you know, so then it gets, you know, it gets a bit nasty. And I'm like, look, 
pay them. I'm, I'm never, I'm not, I'm not rude. I'm talking, I'm talking to you guys now. I'm a big guy. I maybe come across a little bit. It's very thingy. So, and it's quite difficult if you're honest when speaking to a woman as well, because and not all women, and this really, really upsets me or makes me angry is I grew up with just my mum and my sister. So when, so this woman's been vile to me, said she's not paying me a penny and all this carry on. I then quite rightfully so lose my rag. And then you get gaslighted. Oh, I'm a woman. You're threatening me. I'm calling the police, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you, Robert, you're trying to steal from me. What are you talking about? So anyway, it's ended in this sort of argument. It's got really heated. I've just left it where, like, I'm coming around tomorrow with a pickaxe. I'll be honest with you. I don't care about the consequence. Like, I'm not bothered. I know my rights. Like, if you haven't paid for that stuff, I own it. I own that woman's, that part of her driveway. I'll take it home with me. I don't care if I lose money because if I let one person get away with it, they tell all the friends and you're in for it. And I've seen it happen to friends over the years. I've had a couple of mates, electricians and so on, they do a little job for someone, they get knocked 200 quid. And then they tell the mate that they're a walkover and it carries on, carries on. Like, on sheer principle, me and Chris won't allow that to happen and we never have. Um, but it's just a really shitty, it's a shit situation because she won't see my perspective. She's adamant she's right that she's been had and she's paid too much money, blah, blah, blah. Don't get me wrong. You probably could have got someone to do that bit of work a bit cheaper, but I gave you my price. I didn't particularly want to do it for this reason and the reason that, as I've stated, it's very difficult to me to, for me to price competitively on tiny little jobs like that because of my overheads. Um, you know, I've been bombarded into doing it. I mean, I ignored her for a couple of months, kind of. I didn't want to do it. I was very dismissive. I was hoping she'd just settle with it, and she didn't. Um, you know, I got an answer machine message. You know, I'd be trying to get hold of you. And, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, we'll, 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 I'll, I'll come and do it then. And I gave her a quote, which I thought she'd say no, because I didn't want to do it, because it was too much money. Um, well, not too much money, but it's what it cost me to do that size of job with my overheads. Um yeah, and I uh, I didn't think she'd accept it. She did, with the full intention of doing this. So, um, yeah, it's ended up in this big palaver. I've had to um, get a bit aggressive. You know, not aggressive, assertive, we'll call it, as I'm speaking now, just this tone of voice. I'm not putting up with it. You bang out of order, that kind of thing. She's transferred the money over now, um, and hopefully that's the end of it. But she's left it with she's calling the police and I've done this and I've done the other. And as you guys can see, this is what this lady probably doesn't know. We post these videos every single week. Like you guys can see how we operate with our customers, how we are every single week. We've got evidence to support the fact that we don't behave in that manner. You know, the, the other funny thing, I'm calling trading standards. That's the famous one. Trading standards in Nottingham call me or have on occasion to rectify other people's work um, who have been ripped off. Like, I go out and give quotations and assessments and, and so on for trading standards. Um, I've got the... I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I've got the lady from Nottingham um, Trading Standards phone number, mobile number. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. But, um, but it is quite frightening that um, she's adamant she's right. And I can see her point slightly, but then you can't agree... You know, you've you've agreed. She's she's saying now it wasn't agreement, it was a quote. I never um she's rang citizens' advice and they've said that it's a quote, it's not a contract, and da da da. But it's like it kind of is like you added for us you had the driveway done, which was contracted, you've then agreed a price for the add-on, you've paid a deposit for that. So I'm assuming when you pay the deposit, you're accepting the terms of the price that were negotiated at that point. You don't then try and negotiate the price on completion. And if I'm honest, I could see it coming. She'd been elusive for uh, the couple of days, hardly speaking to her. So I could feel it coming. I knew. I've been doing this long enough. I can spot my mile away. Um, but it's something we have to go through in, uh, sometimes in the battle. But um, yeah, it's a shame. It's left a bad taste in my mouth. Bit of a bitter end to the week for BNP paving on, on this one. But, you know, we'll get an, we're on to another. We're booked up for months. We'll be on to another job um, next week. And that'll be the end of it. But you know what? I wasn't going to post this stuff on here, but I just think it's real life. It's honest. This is what happens in business. And I think you guys deserve to know what's going on. Um, and, you know, other, there'll be other, other guys or girls watching here who've been through this same thing who will relate. Um, it's a nightmare. It's a minefield in business. But you know what? If you let these people get away with it, they'll be all over you. So rule of thumb is, if you don't pay your bill, if you don't pay, we're taking it away. If you don't pay on completion that is contracted, 
I will be back the next day with pickaxe and your driveway is going on the back of my van or in the back of a grab lorry. I don't care if it costs me money, we won't tolerate that kind of behavior. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. I'm sorry it's not a happy one this week. I hope you enjoy the video anyway. And I suppose this bit is what it's all about. So we'll catch you next week. Peace. Walk on it. Right, tell, Chris, tell him what he's doing. This is Mapley, Mapley Tree Services' son, so this is the next generation. You go and tell the people what you've done to our work. Don't walk on the drive. Uh, so basically, we stood in the gobbo, and then we walked all the way around the driveway yeah. and got gobbo over there, didn't we? Yeah. It's not your fault, though, is it? No. You know what it is? He's overworked and underpaid. That's it. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> That's what it is. Stand for this, mate. Tell him. I'm telling you. Give him more money. You've heard the kid, he wants money sending in. Pay me, tell him, pay me. Never mind dad having you in off term, not paying you know. Slave labor. Look at, look at the face of this criminal here, look. Five years ago, this guy's poor dad dropped super noodles on his head and he ain't cleaned them off since. <laughs> Go on then, let's let you get off. Well, all in all, not a bad day for a Wednesday. So, edging's in, sub basin, unwackered, sandal. Uh, sand in, sand speed and laid. There's a pair of Muppets, look. The only gang you two been in, Gary Glitters. Throwing <laughs> gang signs. Best yeah, you don't want to be in their gang, their gang, their gang, trust I me. Good morning, everybody. First of all, I'd just like to say a massive thank you. Um, the last video we put out, we can't believe the response we had. I think it's like, I wanted a thousand likes. I got like three and a half thousand likes. We've had like 40,000 views, absolutely over the moon. So thank you to all you guys who bothered to watch, comment, like it. Honestly, it meant a lot. We'd had a really bad week um, and it was really nice to get some uh, bit of reassurance from you guys so thank you all it's uh yeah massive we can't believe it we also hit the 7,000 subscribers mark now i'd said i'd like to hit 10,000 within the first year which would be october and we've already hit 7,000 so fingers crossed we're well on the way however it can be a little bit unpredictable you never actually know some months you get no subscribers last week i got a thousand it's it's crazy so um, again, thank you uh, to all our new subscribers. Like I say, we, we aim to put content out every single Sunday. We put an hour video out if we can. Um, apologies for not putting a video out Easter Sunday. We just, we'd had a week off. We'd all agreed we'd, we'd take a week off work for Easter. We've worked hard this first quarter. It's been really tough with the weather and um, and so on. The lads have worked really hard, so they deserved a nice week off. So we, uh, yeah, we all had a nice family week um, over Easter. Ate too much chocolate. Um, however, we're back on the grind today. Right, on to this week's job. It has decided, would you believe we've had lovely weather the whole last week and then the heavens have opened today. So I'm just currently sat in the van and it's absolutely siling it down with the rain. But uh, such is life, we'll get on with it. It's bank holiday Monday. We agreed we'd have the Friday off and we'd come in work this morning. However, we can't get grab lorries today because of the, the tips and things being closed for bank holiday. So it should be a quick day. So we're going to come in, get a load of muck ready and dug out, ready to go. Um, and... Um, get dj here in the morning which we choose the morning so we should have quick we'll only be a few hopefully a couple of hours if things are to plan we're just going to get a load ready pile them up ready on the on the front just to go so we'll show you guys that in a minute i'll jump out the van and show you what's going on god would you look at this look absolutely siling it down i can't believe it that's poor little foldsy look he's probably hung over should we go and see what he's been doing machines arrived no bank holidays round here, Sean, eh? Upsetting the neighbours. <laughs> Boys are ready, lot hiding out the rain. So this is the job, basically, long story short. Full dig out, square to the hedge, all the way to the house and round. 
um, new driveway. Easy as it comes, really a nice, simple job, this. Wall's got a bit of frost damage, so we've got to be a little bit careful. The concrete goes under the wall, uh, well, the render of the wall. So I'm a bit worried there's going to be some damage on this, but there's nothing much we can do. So the customer's aware of it. We'll see how it goes, but we'll probably tackle that tomorrow. Like I say, today we're just going to get a load dug out, um, put on the front here for Dave to come and fetch in the morning. That's all arranged, ready. And um, yeah, it should be a nice easy day, really. I mean, it's eight o'clock now, but probably take, we'll be here a couple of hours, I'd say. worse than you went. Yeah. Come back with alcohol problem. It's not a problem is it? It's so any problem when you run out mate. That's correct. I've only ever been drunk once. Just started when I was 40. <laughs> Never stopped. Still drunk now. Still drunk now yeah. Don't pull him over people. You're the limit. Well we're doing all right up to now. We're nearly at the NTL so we're not doing too bad. Luckily we didn't squash it. Took her eye off the ball for one second. We just kicked the pipe a bit, but it's all right. Yeah, no damage there. Be all right. Nice bit of mud. Right, that's about us done for the first day. Say so we can't get a lorry until tomorrow because the tips are shut for the bank holiday. We've got a pie already. Made a, to be fair, we've just made a bloody mess. But um, yeah, and we'll. Uh, back in the morning, get the grab here, get the rest out, stoned up tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it's Nick at BMP Paving. Got a special guest today, Folder in the van. We're just chilling out, waiting for the grab lorry to get here. So we got the first load ready yesterday, we're just waiting for him to come now and get rid of that. And they'll continue digging out and uh, get some stone in and knocked about today, hopefully, and get that all done. Uh, I've got all the materials coming tomorrow. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a busy day today. So uh, we shall show you what's going on. Um, we've also, Sod's Law, as we're digging out under the whole driveway, just, uh, I think it's like gas and electric mains through the whole thing. So we're having to dodge them while we dig, which is a bit of a ball ache. But uh, we always get there in the end. So Sod's Law as well, it's a beautiful sunny day, but where we're working, there's absolutely no sun. <laughs> so, <laughs> we showed you out the van window now, it's beautiful blue skies and sunshine and we're just completely in the shade where we're working, so uh, such is life. So I'd like to say we're finally getting somewhere today. However, it's been a slow morning up to now. We've got gas and electric mains everywhere. We're trying to dig it out. Nothing's on time, it's been a nightmare. But however, the grab lorry has just arrived so we can get its first pile of muck out of the way, which is very helpful. That means we can continue digging. So uh, yeah, let's get that on and away. And then we can get on with this job. Here we go. Let's get rid of this rubbish.
the battle continues. We're nearly there. The first load's gone, as you've seen. Um, Stevie's just on the way back now for another load and um, bringing some rose stone. However, the problem we've got is the customer was aware we've got this like retaining wall here. It's quite badly water and frost damaged. And what they've done is they've sort of when they've rendered the wall, they've rendered it over the concrete. So we're having to try and pull the concrete out and cause minimal damage to this. But it's next to impossible. See what like if you see what Ryan's doing there, look. You've got to kind of weasel each little bit out with like, it all collapsing. We're not bothered about the render cosmetically, but it's uh, yeah, we don't want structurally it. So there's little bits you're not going to get away with it really. But um, I did get a price to the customer for the wall, but obviously it's quite expensive wall in at the minute. So he, 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 he said he'd leave it in, but in my opinion, maybe a bit of a bad decision. But uh, it's just not going to look great when it's done. But it is what it is. Can only do what people want to have done, unfortunately. Right, guys, things are progressing. I'm in a bit of a mare. We've got this electric cable running through, so we have to dig around that. Be careful with that. Put the muck here. Stevie's in a bit of a rush today, so he's brought the stone. So we're trying to put the stone down, then take the muck away to save the haulage in terms of fuel. A bit going back and forward. Obviously, speeds things up, but it can make things a little bit difficult. So we're slowly and surely getting there. It's just meant I've not been able to film much today because we're literally running around like endless chickens. So we um we just uh, had a spot of lunch. We're going to get this muck out of the way. Knock this stone about. I think we're gonna need some more stone, so we'll probably top that up in the morning. But yeah, we're getting there slowly and surely. Okay, so that's the second load of muck away. We're just knocking the first layer of stone around. We're gonna do a rake around and a whacker. Um, I think we're gonna need some more stone, to be honest with you. Not looking too promising. So uh, probably the top up the stone in the morning. Um, yeah, rock and roll. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. I'm trying to get things done. It's not going my way. So today I've got to attempt to finish up stoning and compacting the sub base. I need to get a soak away in and installed. I need to get path edging in installed and sand screed and lay 70 square meters of block paving. Is it possible? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but we will try as best as we do. So we're cracking on. Um, I'm not sure about this whole shaving thing. I look like a bit of a baby face, don't I? Well, bar the wrinkles. But anyway, I shall show you where we're at when I can be bothered to get out of this van. So, as you can see, we're starting to get somewhere. Soakway's dog ready. It's mostly stoned up. We've got another six ton coming this morning. We're going to drop in this area here, get the soakway installed properly. It's not ideal, it's another story. Um, yeah, get this all in. There's a plant going in this corner, so that bit's going to be tidied up. Probably get that bit scooped out and gone. Um, still need to do some wall alterations, reinstate the copers, cut this wall back, cut the footing out. But as you can see, it's starting to take shape, so we'll get all this stone in, whackered, new path edgings in, get the soakway kit installed, get it all set up, and uh, hopefully start laying some, some driveway. But uh, yeah, it's a big old, uh, it's a big boy, so it's probably going to, uh, I don't know. If we get this late today, I'll be shocked and amazed, but you guys will see. Think we can do it? Who knows? So that's the materials nearly unloaded. What a load of gear there. There's a, probably a couple of grand stuff here. 
on this load. So um, yeah, a lot of graft, a lot of loading to do. I think DJ's just pulled up up the road with our stone. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. He's hiding behind the bags. Okay, so that's all the sub base in and now whackered. Just got to start the long job now, job now, barrying all this sand in. Obviously the sub base wasn't ready when John A's get here, so we couldn't put the bags down, which saves us a lot of time. So now we're gonna to have to hand barrow all the sand in. As being demonstrated by my beautiful assistant, Foldy. Always is me. Huh? Always is me. Oh, don't be like that. Don't be like that. What have you been like that for? Oh, you know what you're being like. Stop it. Like you are. Right, okay. So, we've sanded and screeded everything. Just got to flow. We're trying to set a 90 degree angle now to see if we can make it work down this side, but it's not looking very promising. Um, yeah, we'll take the bars out, hand float all these gaps up. However, the weather has took a turn for the worse. So, it's now heavy drizzling but we've now got to get it late because it's screeded so it's going to be two three hours now in the rain brilliant can't wait absolutely love my life it's great right okay so sanded screeded ryan is floating up and we've just started to lay like i say the weather is appalling as usual but we're getting there so yeah let's get on Okay, so I should have never dieted myself this morning. I didn't think we'd get this all laid today, but we've managed it. Just left a small section in the corner because we've got to attach all the soak and drainage up tomorrow. So we've got to dig into here and put the drainage in, but it's looking a bit like a bomb site. Just trying to clear it up now, get all this cleared out tomorrow. So we've got a bit of a run of jobs at the minute where we can't put materials anywhere. So we have to load the vans up every single night, which is a bit of a nuisance, but happy days. But all in all, not a bad day for a Wednesday, so edging's in, sub basing, unwackered, sand all, uh, sand in, sand speed and laid. There's a pair of Muppets, look. The only gang YouTube been in is Gary Glitters. Throwing <laughs> gang signs. Best yeah, you don't want to be in their gang, their gang, their gang, trust me. Gary Glitters. 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 Gary
Sounds like thing here, Bruce here. Back from the dead. Bruce Forsyth. Oh. Tell you what, I had some women though, didn't he, old Bruce? Eh? Yeah. Bruce is smashed out there. I'll tell you, smash more women than Bruce. Eh? Ken Barlow. Oof. Ken Barlow. Ken yeah. Roach. Ken That's Roach. his name in real Ken life, Roach. isn't it? Ken Roach. Joe Roach. Thousands, yeah. thousands, thousands, thousands of women. Of he was a lover at. Yeah. Matt folds his dad before he went on job centre. Oh no. Oh, bang out all that. Oh, no. Bang out. Okay, so. Fantastic day yesterday. It's Thursday morning. We managed to get just loads done yesterday. Like I said in the morning, I didn't think we'd get as much done as we did. Um, it practically rained on and off all day. It was awful. And um, we had a few holds up. But we seemed to manage to get where we need to get. So, um, yeah, we've got a few little bits going this morning. We've got to finish off the soakway, get the drainage installed, cut in, back up, so on. We are on target to finish tomorrow, but you never know. Um, I'd like to say it'd be done tomorrow. But, um, yeah, we, you don't know. The weather's... I mean, one minute it's bright sunshine, the next minute it's cloudy. I mean, it's clouding over again now and, and so on, so it can make it difficult to sand and whack her, but we'll see how it goes. Also, I'm quite aware, I'm kind of talking weird. I've got these Invisalign brace things in, and they're driving me mad. Ca catching on my lips, so when I talk, if I'm going, that's why. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll pop out the van, we'll have a little look at what got done yesterday, give you a little explanation of what's happening today. And then we shall crack on with another glorious day at BNP Paving. Okay, so we're all in, ready to concrete it all in, cut some halves in here. Got to get the tarmac ready for the tarmac boys to come in. We're just clearing this planter out. We're gonna lay this up. We'll obviously cut all these boards in here. Just put some drainage in now along this wall, along the house. We're gonna pipe that into our soak away. And uh, yeah, so if things go to plan and the weather's all decent, it should be nearly there. But this is the stage I get frustrated at because it's uh, I'm a bit OCD and I like to get everything tidy and it's impossible to do that. But right, so first thing is I need to trip to builders merchants and pick up some drainage accessories. So uh, yeah, let's get going. Right, so me and Folds it are on a little trek now to Ferns on West Dole Lane. We're gonna pick up some drainage accessories, bits and bobs, some tun bags as they've all vanished. So um, we can't put rubble in anything at the minute because we don't have any. So um, yeah, we'll uh, get that all sorted out, pick some bits, get back to the job. Right, good people, we're getting done. The main technical cutter Connell is cutting away. Look at these beautiful cuts. Tell the people what you've done. Cut block to fit in the hole. <laughs> there you go. Explain, please, what you've done. Would you want me to do it? You, I'll let you, mate. The old technical cutter. Okay, so I've hung up my gloves and passed over the power to him and gave him the job of technical cutter. He did get a pay rise. Cool. Did get a pay rise. Since you, how long have you worked here? Too long. How many years? Yeah. Roughly. Five years? Six, seven. So in six years you've had forty pound a day pay rise or fifty pound? No, you've had sixty pound. It's increased. Every year it's added ten pound a day pay rise that's not bad people, that's mean? not bad is it living. cost of living right so i'll tell you what he's done we got down here so we've worked on the corner so where this corner finishes here that's where we start from and you take your diagonal to this corner so your diagonal works like that runs up here and it works the same on there so you can always go from your corner point here, take it from the corner point, straight up, and away you go. Easy as that. As easy as that. Look at him, so proud of himself. So proud of himself. And that's it, we're getting the backing up in. Backing up's going up down here. So that's all getting backed up. 
with ballast. So we've got 20 mil ballast, I believe. Yep, we've got 20 mil ballast. That's going in a four in one. So we've got four ballast, one cement, which is gonna make that super, super strong. Hold everything in. Can use wash sand, but I found over the years it, it tends to break up quite a bit. So we use ballast on the sides. That's going in down there. Let's go and have a little check on what Ryan's doing. He's laid this last little corner in here. He's marking the cuts for the drainage. And the border's gonna run down here. I'm gonna run a border and concrete it on the end so it runs all the way through. Same on that side. Customers made as a brew. Sweet. I ain't drinking that, look at that. Oh, it's gone all gammy. It's not for me, people, that's horrible. It's not for me. He drank it. Did you drink it with that gammy stuff in cup? No, no, not TV. You're on it now. Look at this, people. Who remembers the sweater shop? They were dead expensive. They had one in Nottingham Town Centre, remember? A sweater shop. Ockley. Up in Ockley, yeah, and it was dead, it was dead pricey, the sweater shop. Can you still buy sweater shop stuff? You can buy Fruit of the Loom still. I don't know if you can buy it, but no, I don't know if there's a shop. That's, that's a younger generation. Can you buy sweater shop clothes anymore? Never heard of it. <laughs> Never heard of sweater shop? What about Fruit of the Loom? You heard of that? Oh my God. Uh, naf Naf. Naf Naf, yeah, it's going back some. Spliffy <laughs> jeans, can you remember Spliffy jeans? No. No? no. Jesus Christ. Do you remember Spliffy off the 7-Up advert? That Was his name Spliffy off 7-Up? Yeah. No, it was Fido Dido, wasn't it? Fido Dido. Can you remember Fido Dido jeans? No. Bro, you haven't lived. I'm going to buy you some. And that's it. We're getting done. We're chatting crap. And we're going to go off and do... What do you reckon the ratio is? Chatting crap and working. I think we should go for a 60-40. Chatting crap? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Over and out. Laters. Oh, ah, it's blowing a gale. Going a right gale up here. So it is. Tarmac's done. Tarmac's gone in, so we've got that tarmac backed up down the side. Got this backing end done round here that I've done myself and polished it off. That's why it looks good. <laughs> Otherwise, to be fair, it doesn't really matter. You don't see it. The lads just chuck it in like that, but. It doesn't matter, like I say, you don't you don't ever see it. It's under the ground, it's solid. There's enough down there to hold it. So the strength is the important bit. But I do, do think it looks personally better when you give it a good polish off. Just in case someone comes past tonight, they don't see us working in, they see, they see that. They think, oh, that looks all right. Rather than just seeing a load of crappy concrete that doesn't look good. But to be honest with you, I'm going to get in there and just give that a bit of a polish as well, make it look a bit better. Main man Bertio is getting it in here. And he's actually following my lead look and making that look more compressed and solid. What I like to do is I like to punch that up and rub it like this and then roll it over. Just makes it a little bit stronger than when you just put it down into the edge and leave these edges, they tend to break away because the concrete's thin. So this is all solid here, but say when you put it down flat, it tends to splinter away a little bit over the last two inch. So if you just rub it like that and roll it over, it strengthens it up a little bit more. Ryan's not done that, but he is going to do it in a minute. Because I'm going to tell him to do it. So that's it. Righty ho. Jet washed out here, everything's getting cleaned up. Just need to get back on this road and clean that, but we're starting from here. Jet washed up, he's laughing his little head off. That was happy. Old Robo's in there, look, Robocop, and he's uh, moving that about. DJ Project bringing us a ton of soil tomorrow, so we're going to fill this planter back up, get all this crap out now, start to clear that. Folds is down there, polishing that off, making it look nice. 
Let's have a look at it. Let's zoom in, viewers of Connell Folds. Oh, I'm giving you your name now, sorry. Oh, I'm giving you all in me inbox. <laughs> yeah, for all his fans out there, we've decided he's going to set up uh, an Amazon wish list. <laughs> and all his favourite things. What did you want? Protein powder. Oh, protein powder. We all need that, don't we? He wants protein powder. I desperately yeah, want you a leaf blower. Well, you're gonna I'll tell you the sad story, people, that I bought a leaf blower. About and I still ago, want out my own money for the job because we need one to blow it all off. And what some wretched human off? person broke into the van, drilled a hole through my van. Well, I was going to show you, but I won't in case then they'll know where to re drill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then if anyone's watching, they'll know exactly how to get back into the van just by drilling. But they drilled a hole in the van, uh, opened it up and stole my beautiful leaf blower. And a steel saw. And a steel saw. Brand and brand they stole our cat scanner as well. But we won't mention any names, but a wonderful viewer has sent us a cat scanner. Thank you very much. Who he is. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. He sent us lots of other goodies as well. He's a good man. He is a good man. Back to it. He's polishing that off. The little trowel, compressing it. That's going to set nice and solid. Drainage is all in. Blocks are in. Ryan's done that backing up. That's all in. And now we're going to get the jet wash of this done. Someone's saying goodbye. There, there. Having a whale of a time. I'm going to set up a little time lapse and show you this getting jet washed. Do you want to be on film? <laughs> you're on YouTube now, by the way. Check BMP Paving on Sunday and you're on it. <laughs> okay, so the sun's come out. Just got back from doing a few quotes and a bit of paperwork and we're nearly done so that's all the edging's in the borders in chris has probably already showed you on some of his video clips i haven't checked yet but all the planters in got some new topsoil coming in the morning to fill this in we'll clear all this out got the gardeners coming tonight to take these bushes new topsoil down here in the border bit of gravel chris is just finishing up now cleaning the jet wash it's looking good the lads are having a little diet coat break I thought he was going to take his shirt off, I was going to play the music, but uh, apparently I'll get banned. Can't do that now. Can't do it nowadays, mate. You're bulking, upset. aren't I? You're bulking? Yeah. You're meant to bulk in the winter and cut uh, in the summer. I don't, I'm not a sheep. You're not a sheep? Oh, You're setting the standard, mate. That's it. That's I'm it. I'm bulking summer. Don't walk on it. Right, tell, Chris, tell him what he's doing. This is Mapley, Mapley Tree Services' son, so this is the next generation. You go and tell the people what you've done to our work. Don't walk on the drive. Uh, so basically, we stood in the gobbo, and then we walked all the way around the driveway yeah. and got gobbo over there, didn't we? Yeah, it's not your fault, though, is it? No. You know what it is? He's overworking, underpaid. That's it. Tell him. Tell him. That's what it is. Stand for this, mate. Tell him. I'm telling you. Give him more money. You've heard the kid, he wants money sending in. Pay me, tell him, pay me. Never mind dad having you in off term, not paying you know. Slave labour. Look at, look at the face of this criminal here, look. Five years ago, this guy's poor dad dropped super noodles on his head and he ain't cleaned them off since. <laughs> Go on then, let's let you get off. Okay, I think I should give you all an update as to what happened with regards to the customer who won't pay or maybe explain a little bit more of the story. Um, I got a few questions and comments and things and I obviously didn't clarify very well what I was saying. So long story short, about October time, we booked in the original job. We agreed a size of job. I can't remember, say, I can't remember exactly, say 60 meters. It was all agreed um, and we take a booking deposit. It's contracted, written contract with size of job, agreed materials, it's signed by both parties, so on. £500 deposit is paid, so the contract and the quotation is accepted at that point for that price. We don't work on a day rate. So, about a week before the job, the phone starts going, as it normally does with the customer. And she's like, oh, I don't know if I want the whole garden doing now, or the, the half a garden, or I don't know. Or, and I was like, well, you can always 
have the other bit done at a later date if you know if you can't make your mind up i did encourage her to do the full thing because i, I did think she'd regret it um but uh yeah no she decided to do the thing um the two-thirds of the driveway which was still big enough for two cars um and we i knocked her off i can't remember what it was but i knocked her off like some money from the job you know um so anyway we did the job everything went fine payment on completion everything's brilliant can't complain um uh, and then a couple of weeks later, a week later, she's like, oh, I should have... No, that was it. We'd already just about finished the drive on the last day. And she messaged and said, oh, can you do that bit now? And I said, well, I can't. I've run out of time uh, on the job. We've just completed and, 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 you know, I've got other commitments. She said, well, can you come back and do it? I said, yeah, we'll sort it out at a later date. So um, this continued uh, for a while. So we complete the job. She paid. No problem at all. Can't, can't complain. Um, and then it uh, carried on then can you come out and measure up? Can you, can we do this next bit? Can we do this other bit? And I kind of hoped that she would get used to how it was and not do it because I knew what would happen, which is, this is what happens that when you have an original job and you knock a bit of money off. So say I knocked a thousand pounds off at that point, people make the assumption then to have it redone, have that bit done at a later date is a thousand pounds and it's not. We've got to come back. We've got to get the grab lorry back. We've got to get the digger out. We've got a there's labour, it just, it costs, there's VAT again, all these things. So it ends up costing a lot more money to do, you know, we can't, we can't just do it for, say, a thousand pounds, but that, you know, it won't cover the wages, the wages in the VAT, you know, it's just pointless. So I don't like to do those jobs, I would normally turn them down, but because of the circumstance, and I do explain this to the customer as well, I did say, it's very hard for me to be competitive doing these smaller jobs, and explain, and I gave her the price, um, so yeah, she kept on messaging and can you do it? Can you do it? I left it a couple of months. It got a little bit snotty. I mean, I've got a voice recording where it's like, if you want this or not, you're going to get back to me. But I thought, oh, I better do it because you live in constant fear of repercussions for not doing it. Um, so I, I got back and gave her a price and she went, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's fine. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and we, I wrote it up, sent it to her, um, and she paid a 500 pound booking deposit, um, to go again. So this is a couple of months before. Um, or a month before or so we got the deposit. Um, yeah, so obviously then we come on to the job, we did the job, um, and yeah, she started basically um, complaining that obviously when we left the job, she then starts messaging saying, I'm not happy paying this amount, you know, um, I can't remember the reasons now from in the previous video, but just going on that she doesn't want to pay. But I mean, she had full intention of doing it. I mean, looking back now, the things that she spoke about, um, oh, sorry, I forgot. When we got back to do the original, the, the second, the smaller bit, she then we were supposed to do the whole drive. We decided she wanted to make it smaller again, but I'd already booked in like a four day or three day slot to do it. Um, yeah, and then like it, if you want to watch back the previous video, she's making all these complaints. It only took you a day. I mean, it was two days. We have to pay. You go home at lunchtime. You can't just not pay people. Um, I can't book another job in because I have booked in that time slot. You know, I've agreed to start another job on the Thursday or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, so it all went on from there. Anyway, so it got nasty a little bit to and fro. She was very aggressive. I run a business and I'm ringing trading standards and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm doing the other. And as I said, I said, don't waste your time. If that's the route you want to go down, I'll just come and we'll just take the job up and just call it quits. You don't have to pay me anything. And at that point, she underpaid me. Um, she just put some money in the bank, £600 down, um, and underpaid and said, that's all you're having. But at that point, you see, I've then got to catch 22 because I've been paid something. So I can't go around and fetch my material because she's paid me something. So then it got even more heated because I said, you're not doing what you think you're doing. I'll come around and post the money back for your letterbox and take my stuff back. You're not doing that because then I can't, she'll say, I've paid X amount. They can't take the stuff, you see. This is what she's trying to work this angle. However, in her haste and stupidity and anger, she'd forgotten she paid me a £500 deposit. So she didn't underpay me 600 She underpaid me 100 And I'd agreed to knock a 200 300 off anyway to, to, to about this tree or this debate about a tree she wanted leaving in. So, um... In the end, she did herself out £200 by being stupid. Um, so, yeah, but um, I'm lucky it resolved the way it did because I mean it, I would I would have gone the next day. If I hadn't, she hadn't paid that money or hadn't got that that, that other 500 quid off her as a deposit, I would have gone and pickaxed it up. Because um, I'm, I'm, like I say, I, and, and I know there's potential customers might see this and it makes me sound really bad, but I've had this before that with all the will and the, I'm not, a, you know, I've been doing business for 15 years. I think it's happened twice previously I had a, a problem with um a lady who just tried to rip us off we were quite young and she just got some heavy we got there one morning these heavies were there these heavies were there and um 
try, tried to bully us and said, you're not having your materials and you're not getting paid and you can take this and leave. And I mean, we were like, me and Chris were in like our early 20s um, and the, we got the police out and just got all our stuff and, and, and sorted it out. Um, and then we had it with uh, another lady over some drainage. She asked her to come put additional drainage in and then complained that she didn't want to pay for it and all this carry on went on. So um, yeah, it ended up in a bit of a hoo-ah and again, we got the police out and this is how I know we're all in within our rights to do what we're doing. The police came, I said, there my drainage challenge in the back of the truck, showed them the receipts. The police said to the woman, I'm sorry, it's a civil matter. She tried the old, he's threatened me with a pickaxe, blah, blah, blah. But um, I'd videoed the whole, I'd videoed the whole thing. I got Chris to video why I was taking the drainage up and putting it in the van and everything. Um, I showed that police officer, absolutely fine. So yeah, it's just one of them things, but unfortunately you all have to deal with it. But I say to anyone in this situation, don't think the law's on your side. Oh, I've had so many comments about small claims court, this, that, and other. I'd have to pay small claims fees. Then you end up having to get a solicitor or something if you're not con con uh, confident enough to do it with myself, which I wouldn't be. Then you're a couple of grand in. You know, you're talking organ over 600 quid. So by the time you get through the, it, two years of absolute stress and anxiety, which is not worth it. So it's not worth going for it. So you have the two decisions. You have two choices. You either rip it all or you let them get away with it. And if you let them get away with it, you find word spreads, they tell their little mates that they can bully you, and the next thing you're doing a £10,000 job and they don't pay you, and they're messing you around, and, and this, that, and the other. So, yeah. But anyway, it got resolved. The husband rang me, apologised. Um, I don't know if they realised the mistake that they actually paid the full balance. I think they did. Um, I've not heard anything since, um, and hopefully that's the end of the matter. But, um, yeah, stressful week. So, hence why we didn't have a video right last week. We decided we'd uh, have a bit of a, a chill out and... Uh, we had the Easter week off with the kids and stuff, a load of us, so we could have time with the kids and talk and see Mario and so on. And, uh, yeah, just chilled out. So you'll be watching this Sunday. Right, OK, so it's Friday morning. We're going to sand and whack on, get this job completed. Folds it, my lovely assistant. It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday. So, yeah, we're just chucking, we're chucking a bit of sand down. It's a bit damp down here, so we're going to just whack this bit dry and just in case it, it tends to stick. Uh, and then we'll get it all brushed in. A whack herd, soil in the planter. Away we go. So we're just adding those final touches now. The soil's turned up some brand new fresh topsoil, banging that in the plant so the customer can plant it out. Connell, my beautiful assistant, my beautiful fuzzy little assistant, he is putting some new topsoil in this little plant area. So although there's a lot of concrete here, you can't really plant here when the hedge grows back in and everything look great. So yeah, we're nearly there. Just washing it all down. It rained a little bit when we were brushing in, so if you can see some of these joints, we need some more bit more sand in them as it's, it's washed through. The minute kiln sand gets damp in any way, shape or form, it clogs up and it won't go in the joints. So we decided to brush as much as we could in. We're gonna wash it all down. We're gonna pop back next week and just top the sand up. But it's drivable on, it's all done, dusted. And I think if I'm right, young David, is it Dave or we've got Stevie today? It's just arrived, coming down the road now. Go on, Dave. Ah. <laughs> oh. Is that it? Oh, is that premature that? Oh dear. Right, so that's our rubble bags. Always last thing on the job is to get this pavement all nice and clean. Obviously we'll take these plastics with us and we'll get rid of them one day to our plastic guy. But yeah, it's all coming on nicely. Nearly done. It's David DJ Projects just taking them away. Get this road clear so there aren't any complaints. And uh, yeah, go to flick over to a little montage, get the job done.
Good morning, everybody. First of all, if you're watching this, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'm not one of these people who blag it. It does good things for our channel. It messes with the algorithm, with YouTube, the more likes we get and so on. And therefore it puts us out to more people. We get more subscribers, more views. So it's extremely helpful. So please hit that subscribe button. What is going on here, Lord? <laughs> Nearly as tall as me, Lord. I'm not having that. When did that happen? You're still ugly, though. What? I was never ugly. You're ugly. Like your mum. You're ugly, then. And that's for you. Oh, God. <laughs> what about Bugsy's smell? Bugsy's smell was horrible. Right. Better get something done. Good morning, everybody. First of all, if you're watching this, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'm not one of these people who blag it. It does good things for our channel. It messes with the algorithm, with YouTube, the more likes we get and so on. And therefore it puts us out to more people. We get more subscribers, more views. So it's extremely helpful. So please hit that subscribe button. Secondly, we've had, um, some new t-shirts done and some woolly hats, which is a bit silly because we're coming out woolly hat season. But anyway, it got me to thinking, um, it'd be quite a cool idea. And what I thought was, seeing we've had a bit of miserable time <laughs> recently, if you guys, what I thought was in this video, in the comments, I want you to put your best joke, your best knock knock joke, whatever it is, it can be rude. Just be mindful that um, if you type rude words in, swear words, etc., YouTube can block them. So if it is a joke with a swear word, you might have to just change the word so we sort of understand what it means. And we're going to pick out a best joke and a funniest joke, read them out next week in the video. And we're going to send that subscriber a BNP t t-shirt, not this one, a brand new one, and a woolly hat with BNP on that you've seen me wearing, brand new, um, as a little gift. So we thought that'd be quite cool. So yeah, leave your jokes below. I want to hear your best jokes. We're going to read the best ones out and have a little giggle next week. Um, yeah, what are we doing this week? Okay, so this week we have a garage to take down this morning. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at it now. I can see it. You guys can't. I'll show you in a minute. Um, got loads to do. Got a new brick wall going in. Got a driveway to take out. Just loads of work to do. So I'm really looking forward to this job with the garage thing, especially just because it's a little bit different. We don't normally dismantle people's garages, but um, guy offered to pay us and I was like, you know what? It's a couple of days messing. So it's something nice to do, something a bit different. So yeah, that's... Uh, our first job is to get this garage down and away. I believe it's an old tin garage, so we're gonna have to cut it all up. And I've got a couple of numbers for scrap metal guys, so I'm gonna give them a ring and get them to come and collect that. Um, yeah, the weather has picked up a little bit. Maybe not t-shirt weather, I have got my stuff here. I was just in a rush this morning, so I didn't get to put my coat and my jumper on. Um, but yeah, weather's picked up a little bit. It's about 10 degrees at the time of the morning, so hopefully we've seen the arse end of this, uh, this horrible weather and we can start uh, Getting a bit of sun, I'm looking a bit pale, I'm sick of the red nose now, I've been freezing cold and snotty all day. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed we're going to get a bit of sunshine now and start enjoying the spring and summer. Um, yeah, 
Let's get out this van and have a little look around, show you guys what we're doing. Okay, so this is the job. Full new driveway. It, there was a hedge here that ran through this middle and across this front, but we've took all that out. Uh, Mapley Chi came and did it. We'll flip back to that footage. That was with the, the guy with the uh, super noodle hair son. So they came here Thursday and took all the hedge down. And uh, yeah, so there's a new front wall going in here. We're going to put a new wall in so we can give a gradient to the driveway um, and bring it up to this next door's level. Um, first job is we're going to rip this garage down and get rid of it all. And uh, yeah, get scrap metalers to come and take it. It's a tin garage. We're going to have to have DJ, I think, to come and fetch all the wood. We'll have to do a deal with him. So uh, yeah, we'll get on with that. So here we go. Don't worry, the electric's been disconnected. So as you can see, we're starting to take the garage down. And what we're doing is we're stripping it all. So we're stripping all the metal into these corrugated sheets. And then all the, the wood separate. So because they've got to go with different um, waste carriers, you can't sort of contaminate, cross contaminate, they go to different tips and so on. So uh, yeah, some sort of nice little day today, something different to do. Look at this bad boy here. Oh yeah, it's a tarantula, mate. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Have we got any um, people scared of spiders watching? Look at that monster. Bert's is scared, he's ran off. Bert's is terrified, he's ran off over there a lot. You are right. Oh, don't, don't like him, does he? Should go for it, To be fair, I'm not really scared of him, but that, I won't fancy that thing biting me, because it's teeth. Yeah, it's fine, isn't it? It's not hostile. <laughs> not like you with your tonka alley, what you're on. <laughs> show us what you do when you get angry, cold folds. Show me. I don't do it, no. Show me. I'm a calm man. Do it. Do Stick your forehead out, what? show me them eyes. Show me, show me you... how you, you started on Chris when you'd been drinking. Come on, show him. Uh, show us what you did. I don't recall what you're on about, Christopher. You show us what you did, Chris. I can't, I got PTSD. You've got PTSD, <laughs> trauma. <laughs> yeah, you're embarrassed now, aren't you, your behaviour? No. That's why you're skulking off around that little piece of metal yeah. there. Connell Foles did nothing wrong. Connell Foles did nothing wrong, it was Old Diablo. Old Diablo, Old Diablo did it, didn't it? <laughs> Connell. Yeah. I demand that when you hit things with a sledgehammer, you say, man. Oh, don't hit the gravel board now and I'm videoing. Take that off, you? one job. Right, so, that's bigger than you think. It doesn't look that big there. A massive pile of scrap metal there. I've got a massive pile of timber here that DJ's collecting in the morning. Obviously, like I say, we have to keep all these different materials separate for legal tipping reasons. So it's come down a bit easier than we thought it would, to be honest. But the problem now is we need this stuff. It needs to be out of the way so we can get in with the machine and dig it all out. So it's going to hold us up now till tomorrow because I, I didn't know how long it would take. So I booked in the whole day to do it. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon now. So the garage is all down. Pop the machine up here. Customers leaving this area, they're going to do something with it. We're coming to sort of this post. We're going to cut across. This is all going to be driveway. Say new front wall. So yeah, things are going pretty well. Should be a nice little job, this one. Looking forward to it. Ready? Let's see if this bad boy Go. works. Go! Yeah, Go! Keep going! Faster! That's good. <laughs> that... <laughs> Watch the electric cable. Oh, that's not very good. Come back then. Uh oh. Car's coming. Man versus machine. Oh. Oh! Hey! Go on! Go on! <laughs> So this is the evolution of the kite look. Don't <laughs> Oh my goodness, such a way up I'm not sure we should put that online. Right. Everybody, it's Nick at BNP Paving. It's Tuesday morning. Just got here. It's quarter to eight. It's all gone. 
I don't think it'll be gone that early. So, have scrap metal has had the scrap? Has DJ had the wood? We're not sure. However, I ain't complaining because it's out of the way, which means I can just get on with what I need to get on with now. But I'm going to have to investigate is to find out where it's all gone. <laughs> so, there you go. Right, so there's been a change of plan. Customers decided now we're not putting a wall in. We want all this bank out, which is going up to the neighbours. You see it's like higher, so we're going to reduce it down all the way to the, this neighbour's drive level. And then we're going to have to have like a planter in between that's level and onto the driveway. But it just means we weren't ready in terms of all this green waste we could have got rid of and all these bushes. And we haven't because we're, uh, we didn't know we were doing it. So, um, but we'll get there. It just means instead of a wall now, we're going to have to dig it all out and grab it. So it'd be about the same cost by the time we've got all this soil out. I mean, you probably can't see on this on this lens, but I mean, there's tons. I mean, at this point, it is probably a metre high, so you can imagine to reduce this bank, then go foot lower as well. It's like a lot of stuff. Okay, so Stevie's just arrived to us the first load. The problem we're having is because of the nature of this bank, you can see all the roots and the green. It's heavily contaminated, it's really difficult. Um, and this is a new thing, not a new thing, but it's been getting more and more out of hand with the local councils, which is like this is classed as contaminated. And although it goes to landfill, they won't let you landfill with roots and so on. So you find you have to pick your old way through it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just a nightmare to get rid of. So uh, we're trying the best with it, but it's so time consuming. Like I say, we're taking it all out and running it up the top. see we're lifting it up and trying to get it in but we're trying to clear all this roots and debris out of it as we go along well like you say it's not like it's it's not bushes and things on top which are easy to deal with this is a hundred year old bank that's just full of roots and ivy and everything else you just cannot get it out so it's uh it's a really difficult task every now and again you just tend to get if you can see where stevie's getting lower now with the grab it's nice clean soil where obviously the roots haven't penetrated the bank but yeah, just having nightmares with tips and things and, and whatever. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on the reasoning behind it. I think it's down to gases, because obviously it does go to landfill. I think it is down to gas emission when it decomposes. But um, it's, I don't know what they want us to do. It's almost like an impossible task. So, uh, yeah, we should carry on battling with it. But it's uh, definitely making things difficult this morning. See Chris there just moving the roots out. So here's our next obstacle, we found the electric cable, so it's a bit high to where we need it, but there's enough slack on it, I think I'm about to dig a trench next to it, push it into the ground so it's low, low enough so we don't have to get any adjustments made to it, but um, yeah, it's gruelling this is, really bad. Like I say, it's just everything so contaminated, we've got like rotten wood and plants and, oh, nightmare. So we've got to pick all these bits of green out of it, so it's really, really, look, the lads are doing it, look as much as you can out but some of it's tiny you know you can't there's a saying you can't polish a turd do it folder we've got all our rubble are we we receive wildlife around here yeah if we spot a frog we move it bless it a bit scared to death come on well. get shifted set her free Posey set her free Off he goes to enjoy his life. Off he goes along. Oh, he's buggered off that bank. He's buggered oh, off. Baby. Living his best life, love. In the sheets. Off to the pond. Pond life. Okay, so we've got the first load away. Now we're just reducing this bank here. And um, we're kind of getting there. It's just, it's been a really stressful, stressy day today. It's just one of these jobs where it just doesn't look great. It will do tomorrow. It's just crap everywhere. It's a 
bit squeaky. Okay, so this is the green waste that we managed to get off the front this morning. The only place we could put it was where the garage stood originally, out of the way, so we could continue digging the front and get the power in it. However, now we've got the guys coming to fetch it and they want it all moving to the front. So now we've dragged it all the way from the front to the back. Now it's got to go from the back to the front. So, oh, it just never stops. So, but this is how things go, unfortunately, sometimes. You just got to, uh, just got to do everything twice. But So yeah, now to get this down there. Right, so our mate Glenn from Mapu Tree Services have arrived now and we're getting this all chained up in the back of here. Oh, Foles is turned up, has he? Okay, so it's Wednesday morning and it's starting to look like a job, slowly. So I think, well, we've had a load of timber gone, a load of metal gone. I think we've had two grab loads gone. Could be three, I can't remember now. Um, so we're slowly getting there. So we just need to have a little shape up now. So we're gonna come back in with the machine and just tinker about and get all this loose off and, and get a bit of nice. Just those, tight, those finishing little bits on the sub base, on the dig out. And then we'll get a load of stone here and get that knocked about. We'll get some materials here tomorrow and we'll start laying some driveway. I have to say, I'm extremely happy that the uh, all that timber and bushes and plants have gone because I was absolutely sick to death of moving that around. It's been an absolute nightmare. So, gone, done dusted so anyway as i'm recording this my phone is now ringing and it's dave so uh, at dj project so we'll get i'll answer that call and we'll get on so we've put the line here with the diamond blade this bit's a bit of a post here so we have to break this out we've got time set up in a minute we've got a bit of time schedule we've got to tidy the end up but that's the line here we're to. So when we lay the driveway we'll come to this point here and then obviously go down there with it all so we're just trying to desperately get the last bit of soil out now before dave gets here here he is, oh, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> oh, he's trying to click and make the bit vanish. Ta-da! That 400th load. Oh, I love it when a job comes together. Nice and tidy dug out at the back now. Chris just doing this side, which is trimmed down that side. This muck's got to go. Oh, thank God. The OCD can rest. Hate it when it looks like this. Can't stand clutter and mess. Behind the scenes, Game Day Project. The truth of gaming. going to show you a negotiation here. Come on, David. Go and sweep your hole in here. That was just going to be all crushed up on the pile, but you came early and took it. Now you've broken you, it. You can't crush the flat out on the pile. I won't take it, mate. You're getting well, the me banned. Pile, the wood pile you originally took. Ain't hey, got some bag? What's in that? Some bag. Some bag, follow. What do you want to do? Put it in the bag at the end? Yeah, I get the end now, get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it. You'll have a bit, won't you? I'll tell you Sit. something. You don't get this with any other grab firm, I'll do you? I'll tell you what, right? 
Not mentioning no names. That's why you get 65 subscribers, because you can lift up bags of doors. <laughs> go, go above and beyond, <laughs> don't we? Above and beyond at our place. That's it. Yeah, Dave, look, it's copper in that, mate. Say that. that. Lads Christmas do. There's loads of copper in that bag. Okay, so as you've seen, Dave's dropped the stone off. We're all dug out now, so we're just starting to load stone up into the areas, get the sub-base down. We'll get this all whackered. Pop over to the time lapse, show you the stone getting knocked about. And then we'll uh, get it all whackered for you, ready for the morning when all the materials arrive and start laying. So we've got the uh, stone all knocked about and now we're just going to give it a whack off. Everybody, it's Nick at BMP Paving. It is Thursday, Thursday morning. Um, yeah, this dig out's been a bit of a slog. We've ended up taking four loads of gear out and all this timber and this garage down, and oh, just it's been a bit, bit of a nightmare. But we finally got there. So normally we like to be laying blocks on a Wednesday, but we're going to start laying them today. Um, reason being. So we sort of finished at lunch yesterday and people might be like, why finish at lunch? And it's just so you don't get top of yourself. Like, obviously there'll be people in the comments going, Meh. but you know, I couldn't guarantee yesterday. I don't know exactly if the stone can come. I don't know if Dave's going to be busy. I don't know if I can get these deliveries and so on. So you don't want them on top of each other. You know, it's like ordering your pizza and your chips separately. Um, you know, and not knowing when they're going to turn up, you know, we, we kind of need, oh, that's wrong. Good morning, everybody. It's Nick at BMP. I believe it's Thursday morning. Every day is merging into the same day this week. Um, yeah, been a right slog up to now. This dig out's been pretty difficult. It's been a lot of muck to get out. So, yeah, it's took a bit longer than we thought. We normally like to start laying blocks on a Wednesday. Uh, however, we're doing it on a Thursday this week, but we did put in for a contingency next week. So, realistically, in this video, the job isn't going to be finished yet. We'll, we'll show you the finished product next week. Um, yeah, it's a weird one. I find it quite frustrating. We sort of lose time at the beginning of these jobs. Um, just down to like, so example, we finished about one o'clock yesterday and there's plenty to be done. But the problem is, it's like, I can't order the materials for Wednesday morning. Um, and when I'm not guaranteed that the sub base will all be in, you know, I, I don't know. So it's really difficult. So we end up with these sort of like little time periods where we don't, um, we can't really get cracked on. Um, yeah, it's really difficult. Um, like I say, the words, can you imagine all the, um, materials came yesterday morning or yesterday lunchtime and we're not ready and then you put all the sand on the road and you've got to put all the blocks on the road then they're on the road overnight and you get neighbors complaining and it's really difficult to to get your timings right so the way to avoid that is for me um is, is to arrange things on a daily so it's like yesterday we put aside to get the the stone in if the stone's in by 10 o'clock we're finished if it takes till five six o'clock in the evening we're finished but it goes in ready for the stuff coming the following day um, and that way it keeps things running smoothly. It just means we do lose a bit of time. Like we've probably lost a couple of half days this week already um, just in, in hanging about. I mean, I imagine on building sites, it's the same thing. You've got to wait for your bricks. You know, you've got to wait for a hop, you know, the loader and, and so on. So it's a bit of a nightmare. But we are on top of things. So I'm just here now. It's half past seven. I'm just waiting for the John A's lorry to turn up. It could turn up after eight when everyone's here, but I have to be here just in case. Um, and like I've said before, the reason for doing that is to make sure I put things where I want them. 
Um, so it makes it as convenient or as easy for the lads as possible to load the materials out. For example, rather than putting the tongue bags on the road and having to shovel it and bar it out, we'll hang the bags, which I'll show you in the time lapse. We'll hang the bags and we'll cut them and the sand will drop onto the driveway. Save You can save hours doing things like that. The placement of the packs and blocks. I mean, these have to be hand loaded, so picked up by hand and walked up and down with, if you, as you'll see later on. Um, and again, it can cause... Um, you know, just having those things a couple of metres nearer can, can make a big difference to it when you've got to load 15 packs of blocks, you know. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. But, um, yeah, I'll hop out the van in a minute and we'll give you a little look around as to where we got yesterday and uh, get on with the day. OK, so we're all stowed up. We'll just put a little bit more at the front. We're just whacking that in there. Uh, the plant has dug out red air, so this way we have a path here off the plant off. John A. Steams have just arrived with the materials all ready to go. Unfortunately, I didn't get the order put in until late yesterday afternoon, so we've not got here till the bar. It's about half past 10 now. We should have enough time to get laid off. This is what we're after today. Okay, so stuff's arrived, knocking sand around, things are happening, I'm happy. Chris has come today sporting a kid's t-shirt. <laughs> it didn't even come low enough. What is that? Oh dear. That's a medium, isn't it? Poor lad. Medium. I used to wear it on doors, I thought, oh, I'll keep that for work. So you go look, get your sand knocked about and whackered, get screwed in, get laid up, the odd bit's kind of over then, that's all the technical stuff. But luckily, we've got technical cutter Connell over there. Right, so we've just screwed it up, just starting to lay now. We're doing a diagonal pattern this one. Brian is just floating up the, where the screw bar has been, taking the rolls out. Or should I say putting rolls in where the bars have joined. Um, otherwise you get slight openings in the blocks. So we'll flip over to a time lapse and we shall get this drive laid as we do. So we are nearly there. Chris is just setting the manhole lid, just reconcreting it back onto the original chamber. It's been quite a nice one, this one, not too difficult. We've got most of it laid up now, paths all laid in, the drive's all laid. So tomorrow we'll start cutting all the borders in and, and getting it all around and so on. Um, okay, so we're about done. Chris is just setting the manhole. Um, just reconcreting that in. It's been quite nice actually. It's gone back on the original brickwork. So we've just got to lay this bit tomorrow. And then we're going to come back over here, cut all the borders in, get all the paths in, all the borders, concrete and all done. All the fronts setting in, tidy these borders up. So yeah, it's coming together quite nicely. So it's been a long, tough day. It's been a long, tough week actually. It's been a bit, I won't say stressful, but yeah, it's uh, not been the easiest job this one up to now. So, um, yeah, but I reckon we'll be completed probably pff, it's Thursday now, probably Monday, uh, Tuesday, I think, I'd hope. So we shall see. Good morning, everybody. It's Nick at BMP. It's Friday morning and it's raining. As you can see, we're still battling on as we do. We're going to try and cut some borders in and do some concrete in. I don't know what we're going to get done. This is the problem with this country. You can never predict it. So, as you can see, we're just marking up the borders now to cut. 
and then we're going to start dropping borders in getting loaded out marked up like i said it's a bit of a nightmare so uh yeah we'll let you know how we get on okay so we're trying our hardest but it is just not stopped raining it's just stopped now but we're drenched so just making more mess this is the reality of the job when you're cutting in in the in the rain and so on so we're, i think we'll have to call it today unfortunately which means i won't be able to video as much as i'd originally wanted to but we're mostly cutting in the borders are in and we've got a bit of bits to do here and so on but um yeah it's uh, definitely been a challenge today Go on then, see if you can grab a road. Oh, missed it again. Missed it again. Oh, I've got two on as well. Oh, you're never going to get me two on. <laughs> you knew that was coming. everybody it is nick at bmp paving thank god the weather is better than friday it was absolutely shocking hopefully today we'll get everything done um get all the concrete and done tarmac is here tomorrow we've got to cut the manhole in so on so forth so yeah it holds up a little bit we've got till wednesday on the job so um we've got a little bit of time but um yeah definitely been a, a tough job this one um it's a big a lot of muck to move, a lot of angles and so on. It's been quite difficult. Just want to thank you all for um, liking and subscribing as well, all our new subscribers. Thank you very much. It means absolutely the world to us. Like I said, it's, it's, it's another avenue of our business. We're getting quite a lot of work locally from it and so on. So honestly, it really does help us all. Some of your jokes have been absolutely brilliant. We'll re I'll read some of them out to the lads in a bit and we'll see which ones we like. Um, some of them have been absolutely shocking. You should be ashamed of yourselves, honestly. Um, I think I've laughed more at the bad ones than the good ones, but yeah, it's been there pretty, pretty cool. So it's cool, quite a cool thing to do. So yeah, throughout the week, we'll, as they come in, we'll read them out and you'll see them on this video. Um, we'll pick a winner um, end of the week and we'll get a t-shirt and the hat out to you. Granted, they're not the best gifts in the world, but it's all we've got. So we thought it'd be a nice little thing for a subscriber somewhere down the line. Um, yeah, so we'll get, uh, let's get out of this van and get rocking and rolling. Again, I'll have to apologise for the glasses thing. My eyesight's shocking. I'm waiting for um, surgery on my eyes. I've got like, I'll just call it cataracts because it's easier, but it's a nightmare. So um, yeah, this is not me being cool. It's um, my right eye particularly is, is pretty bad at the minute. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, that explains the, uh, the shades look. So the mixer's purring away. Just concreting everything in. Just concrete all this planter in. Like I say, we keep getting people in the comments moaning about um, edge restraints and all this lot of using path edgings. But I mean, there's a ton of concrete, you know, literally. <laughs> like, for, well, not a ton, probably just under, just over half a ton of concrete retaining this plant here. You know, I don't really understand the, the thing really. It, 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 that, you know, it's like a foot of concrete, a foot thick. You know, foot square, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty considerable. So that's what we do. Especially on the radio, you can't really, you can mite our edgings round, but they just look awful and the borders look terrible because they all kick. So we've got mighty these top ones in up here. Um, yeah, and again on here, we're just concrete and then we'll concrete all down here. I'm gonna pick, tidy up this plant, I'll pickaxe it all around and put uh, two, new to two tons of new topsoil in. Chris has just cut out now for the, uh, for the step. That's all cut out now, and then we'll concrete all the curbing in for the new doorstep, finish this border here. Got to lay this top area now, um, cut the manhole in, and we're about there, really. Good jet wash off. Tomorrow will just be sort of compacting, 
and uh, getting the um, the planters all tidy and everything cleaned up. So yeah, it'd be a nice little job tomorrow when it's all done. Here's the staff lot having the Monday morning break. Okay, so last week we asked you guys at home to send in your, I don't know about best jokes, some of them are absolutely shocking, but some jokes nevertheless. So we'll go through a few now, we'll read them out, we'll see if we get the lads laughing. We'll try and pick a best one by the end of the week. So here we go, I'll have to, I've got, it's a bit difficult to do, but I'll try and read a few out and see what we all think. All right, so this is a joke we've had in from, I'll not put second names, but a guy called Dale. He says, what's the difference between a blonde and a brick? Anybody? A blonde and a brick. If you lay a brick, it doesn't follow you home. Hmm. Dale, are we allowed to swear? Yeah. Get yourself fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> that is shocking. Now this one I've read, I quite like this one. I don't know if it's funny, but right. What's better than roses on a piano? Two lips on an organ. That's quite good. Yeah. Kind of good. I get. Joke, it's yeah, it's a dad joke, but it's not too bad. There's one here for you. It says, what's the difference between Dubai and Abu Dhabi? Any ideas? I told it this morning, I forgot it. <laughs> the people in Dubai don't like the Flintstones, but the people in Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> Come on. Well, that's Come problem. on. That's, that's, a that's a good that's one. A dad joke, that is good. Like got a bit of a laugh, got a smile out of it. If I like this one, Folds, oh, it's a bit creepy. I like creepy. This one says, why isn't there a pregnant Barbie doll? Go on. Because Ken comes in a different box. <laughs> I like that one. That's pretty That's good. That's a good one. Who sent that in? That was sent in by Matt. Oh no, tell I. Like. That one, Stephen Burrows. Stephen Burrows. You're in the you're in the running, mate, for the t-shirt and hat combo. Woo! T-shirt and hat. T-shirt and hat. Yeah, I'll get your jokes oh, in. Right. right. There's a no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Don't let him tell a joke. We'll get banned. I like this one. Folds it. Chris is to this. Why shouldn't you wear Russian Y fronts? Why? Because Chernobyl fall out. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all right, isn't it? So this guy sent this in, right? And we were just trying to fathom this. It says, knock, knock, said Nick's kids. And to think Nick is still looking for Cinderella. <laughs> Dream on, dad. Love you, ma'am. Laugh out loud. I don't know if he's calling you missus or not. I think he is. I think he's saying my missus is ugly. Or I'm cheating on my missus. What's, what's the name? Chris CM Storm. Chris, get yourself down doctors. You can get disability now, mate. <laughs> you can get. You have to work again. You can get an allowance for that, mate. Carers. Probably only get three grand a month. Do like this one. How many dyslexics does it take to change a light bulb? Stephen. <laughs> That's good. That's brill. I've got one. All right, here's Chris's. Chris, before we start this, it's not going to be any sort of. It's There's no be, phobia in it of any sort, is there? Uh, yeah, it's going to offend some people. Okay. But if it, it's a joke. Right. <laughs> they used to call me Mr. Lover Lover till I had a with a Down syndrome girl. Now they call me Mr. Booms. <laughs> <laughs> As if I can put that on YouTube. <laughs> Mr. Booms. <laughs> That's a good one, come on. This one's a proper dad joke. It says. What is the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? One you see in a while, and the other will see you later. Oh, God. Oh, God. I kind of like it, though, to be It's all right, but I'd give myself a Dettel buff. I'd wash my eyes with Dettel if I'd written that. Lads, this one's good. I do like this. What's the difference between a lentil and a chickpea? Go on. I've never had a lentil on my face. <laughs> that's good. That, that's my favourite one tonight. Uh, yours is not going on. Chris has just told a joke, right? I made him promise it wouldn't be too bad, and it was that bad. I cannot put it on. I absolutely cannot put it, it wasn't on. Racist? It wasn't sexist. It's, mate. It's bad. It's pretty bad. Oh, like, on, I'm not sure the YouTube guidelines will appreciate um, jokes of that nature. So, the view, you guys would love it, but there's absolutely no. I know what's going to happen now. I'm going to get loads of people saying in the yeah, comments, man. "What was Chris's joke?" I tell you what, I'll do. I will not post it on the video, but in the comments, I will sort of write it, but I will code it so you can, so you can see what it was. But there's no, and I'll pin it to the top. But there's no way I am putting that on this video. 
Fold here's one for you. It's got naughty words. You're like this. <laughs> Connell still laughs when you say William Boobit. Um, what's the difference between a JCB and a giraffe? One has hydraulics and the other one's got eye bollocks. God. <laughs> it's so bad, it's good. I like that. Come on, there must be some better ones. There's got to be some good ones. This one's for our Chris. This one's personalised for him. I shall just read it out to him now. This one's for our Chris. It is written to him by Kyle Parrish. Thank you, Kyle. And he's put, how do you keep a chav in, I think it's supposed to say suspense, but he's put dispense. So it's, how do you keep a chav in suspense? Just ask Chris at BNP Paving. Ooh. 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 I'm in suspense. You're in suspense? It is a suspenseful joke. What's his name? Kyle. Kyle Parrish. If that is even your real name. Ooh. Shove it up your mother's backside. <laughs> quite good it's a bit childish but i do like it it says what black and white and red all over a battered penguin here's one for you oh god no no it's a dad joke oh come on why did the one-eyed chicken cross the road i don't know why did the one-eyed chicken cross the road let's get to the bird's eye shot <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you are disgusting it's one, it's funny. oh i want the t-shirt and hat please in the old days you'd have been burnt as a witch for saying that. Oh, this one here is quite funny. By, this is by Chris M and it says, what do you call a footballer with a toilet on its head? On his head, Wayne Pune. We, we laughed the first time. We, we read laughed it. the hardest at that one. I'm not gonna yeah, we did laugh that quite hard at that. But we do, I'd already read it out before we videoded it, so it, it's, it's had its novelty now. Boys, I do like, because it's quite relevant. This is by Mac Thomas. It said, what did the block paving blocks say to the rest of the blocks? Great news, we're all getting laid today. It's a terrible joke, but I like what he's done there. He's made it relevant to what we're... On, a tumbleweed's coming across. Oh. Let me just kick this tumbleweed This little bit of tumbleweed here, look. That's the worst joke we've heard. I know, but I, I just like that he's made the effort to make it block paving related. He can't have a t-shirt for that. He can't have a t-shirt no for that. Way. But we've given him some recognition for it. And I personally, Nick at BMP, I personally like what you've done there. I think that's, um, you've made an effort. If we had a key ring, we'd send you one. We'll we send aren't. you a piece of gravel, mate. I'll tell you what. Whatever you want. Oops, yeah, what about a bit of, what about yeah. a bit of foldies yeah. rolling back here? Send him some back here. Hell no. <laughs> what about we crush a bit of block up in a roller and we'll give him a, yeah, give him yeah. a bag. This is the one, boys. I'm not sure if I can read it out. Might get in trouble. I do apologise to any viewers who take offence. I am just reading out jokes that have been sent in. What has Frank Bruno and we both got in common? <laughs> they have both been battered around the ring. <laughs> That's the winner. That's, That's the winner, winner mate. That's it's by Babe. Day, babe. That's by Dave Gillett or Gillett. Yeah, hey, I've got a joke for you. Oh Christ! Here we go. Go on then. Right, as a man who gets washed up on a desert island, it's been there for three years, and all that's on there is a dog and a pig. Don't laugh at your injuries, Chris, it's weird. And the pig's trying to get himself a little berry and he gets stuck in the sand and his arsehole's hanging up. The guy's thinking, fucking hell, it's been a while. Been here three years. Goes to try and shag the pig. Dog snarls at him, tries to bite him. Fucking bastard thing. This goes on for about two weeks. Keeps going over. Every time, dog tries to bite him. All of a sudden, he sees something glimmering out in the sea. Fucking hell, another plane's come down and there's a fit woman there. Goes over, brings her back on the beach, pumps her chest, gets all the water out of her lungs. She says, you've just saved my life, mister. I'll do anything you want. So you couldn't take that fucking dog for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's all for jokes for today. We'll have to let it ride the week out. We've, it's only Monday, so if any more jokes get sent in, we'll keep going. We'll read a couple out every day. Um, we've done a fair blast of them now, but we'll read a few out as the week continues um, and we'll find the best one. But I think up to now, I think we said Dave Gillett is the best, yeah, we think. Honest, mine was the best joke. The one that Chris told that we're not allowed to put I on, that we'll put, put in the comments. The we're going to put it in the comments. If you don't like or people with Down syndrome, it's not for you, turn off. Don't watch it till the end. Chris, will you please stop? <laughs> Can someone stop him? Like, this is what I'm up against here. Well, I'm trying to, like, jokes. maintain a YouTube channel that we don't get banned. It is a joke, but as we well know in this day and age, not many people have a sense Comedians. of humour. Comedians are on YouTube. Yeah, you see what happened to them? They all get cancelled.
They do a stand-up show, people pay to go see them, moan about what they're laughing about, and then kick off again banned. Cancel culture. Cancel culture. And I don't want to be I don't want to be on the receiving end of the cancel culture. So it needs to stop. There you go. Laters. Oh, so talk about a desperate rush on a Tuesday morning. So I just pulled up ready to do my little video thing in the van. And as I pulled up, John A. Stevens already here, it's half past seven. So this is why I say I get here at half past seven. So uh, yeah, a bit out of breath, I had to quickly unload things and, and carry on. But yeah, we're getting there, so it's all done. Got some topsoil here. Um, I'll get a little show around in a minute. Um, unfortunately, I'll just show you now. I could have asked for the bigger lorry with a longer reach crane, uh, which I didn't do. So we can only get a soil to here. Um, and ideally I'd have liked to have dropped it straight in there and caught the bag, but such is life. So um, yeah, we're gonna be a bit wheelbarrowing today to get these planters full left and right, but it won't take long, an hour or two. Obviously the driveway's all cut in now. It's got to cut the manhole lid in. Um, a few little cuts here and there, a few little slivers and breakages to change. Yeah, and the job should be complete. Get it all whackered. Where we go. So we've had to do things a little bit backward today. We didn't manage to get the lid cut in last night. So we've sanded and whackered the whole driveway, just completing now. And then uh, we've cut this in, we've cut this in afterwards. So we've just done that now, but we've managed to do it about getting anything dirty is we've cut up here on this concrete area, which is all being, it's gonna be all fenced off and they're gonna use it as like a utility area. Um, Chris wants me to show you the corner lot. This is his little corner on his border here, he's well happy with. So it's pretty good. Steps all in, nice plus paved curb, large charcoals. We've half battered external curbs looks the business just getting the soil in the planters now these will all be planted up by the customer at their own leisure obviously we're just loading all the tools up we'll get all the road cleared down and now uh, we'll show you some more videos in a bit oh yeah look at folds it up looks like half the man look his little beard fell off last night he's been kissing dirty dirty ladies no offense to his missus if she's watching this and uh i was gonna say your mother <laughs> terrible Bullying, that is, that is bullying. bullying. Sorry, mate. Yeah, with his beard to come off. Give a little smile then. Oh, I don't like it. For the fans. Looks about 12 again, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, my little folds there. We are just cleaning down the road, as you do. Get rid of some of this sediment. Keeping the neighbours happy. That's what we do. We've got Dave coming to pick up this bag of pineapple over here. And that's it done, really. Just got to clean it all down. And on to the next job. It's Tuesday morning, we're starting the new one tomorrow. We've got a big dig out. We've got some natural Indian sandstone walling going in. Plenty to be getting on with and showing you guys. So hopefully it should be a decent video. Okay, so we are done. We're just waiting for tarmac because I don't think we'll be here when they get here. So uh, we'll flip over to a little time-lapse of the, uh, not time-lapse, a little montage of the uh, job complete. I'm happy with it. What about you guys? It looks nice. Get these planters all planted up, some new bushes and so on. It look good. So yeah, we'll flick over to that now. Good morning everyone, we're in the beautiful village of Woolerton, it's not really a village but that's where we're at, got the nice trees going on, beautiful area today, nice house with the main man, no beard, no beard. looking Captain, like a Captain no beard now, bro. Look at 10 that. year old tomato, <laughs> look, look, to, look too young now, you look like a tom tomato bro. And we'll take you around the back, show you what's going off. Come on, Connell. Come and have a little whack with me. Where's he at? Oh, look at him. Ooh. Woo! It's a long way to go. It is actually. You gotta go through the gate. 
<sighs> Gotta get all the way through here with the digger. And here we are. So the customer's already pinned it all out. So the price has now risen. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got a draw in that yet though. You ain't got a draw in. It's not risen that much. If you had a draw in, it'd be even more, but it has risen because he's touched it and he's got involved. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see, but as you come round, this is the old patio that's staying in. So we've got an old block paving patio. Still looks quite nice. Fits in with the property. We've got a wall that runs around. I'll flip the camera around in a minute, show you properly. But we've got a wall here that's running around. This is being taken out. And what we're gonna do is run back up this line with a new wall. So let me flip the camera around and we'll uh, show you how it's being done. Pow! Easy as that. So this wall is coming out and being replaced with this. Nick knows what the... Uh, make is i think it's marshall's some type of marshall's wall in oh look at that lot it's got a nice bit of fossilization in there look at that rustic look i don't even know if fossilization is a word but it made me sound posh so i used it <laughs> so it's being replaced with them i think he's gone for this copa and that's the block that we're having to tie back in with these new wall up there Steps coming out, this wall's coming out, and the new wall's then gonna continue all the way up and around. This level is gonna get taken down flat, staying in. This is staying in, but the customer said something about taking it out and using these as a board around it to try and tie it all in. Might not look so good. We've blocked him out. Because he's now decided he doesn't want to be on camera again. In case the uh, job centre comes looking for him. <laughs> so that's it, peeps. Well, that is it. Bit tight access. Got to get through there. Micro digger's on its way. We're waiting for that. Lovely little garden. Got the blossom out. And there's a nice old rectory over there. I do believe. Look at that. What's that on there? Horse lot. I thought it was a pig to start with. Oh, can we zoom in? Probably an old barn. I was saying it's a what? Old barn. He's saying it's an old barn. Yeah, horses. This guy's Dar's a farmer, he'll tell you. Is that a farm? Is that an old farm up there, son? Is that an old farm up there? Is that? I don't know. Got what do you mean you don't know? You got farming runs through your blood there. He's got a bevel I ain't got a clue what it is. What are you saying? Can we get you on this camera? Or? Yeah, bebo look. I'll tell you what, let's get you from behind. Oh, you said yes, then. Bebo on it. <laughs> got a bebo. There you go. Bebo. Bebo. Pickle horse on top. Yeah, Pigeon in the tree. Got a bebo. 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 Right, people, we're making the great ascent into the back garden. Oh, we've got a wobble on. We've got a little wobble. So we've got to get down here with the micro, put the tracks right in. Gonna be a bit awkward getting around this corner. Would have been nice if we could have gone straight across there, but. Looks like great care is being taken with that lawn to regrow it, so we're not doing that. Always are bringing the bins out, give us a bit more room. If you've got to drive one of these in tight spaces, just pull the revs down a little bit because they're, they're jumping, especially when the tracks go in like that, they'll jump all over the shot when you're moving up, it'll be like wobbly, so just turn your, turn your little revs down a little bit and we'll see if we can get through. Go. Yeah, boy. Here he is, guys. Connell's on there. I'm on. Yeah, I'm producer director today, mate. This is going to be very difficult. Oh, it's going to be very tight. You can see he's got to do a 90 degree bend.
Look at the concentration on his face. Famous last words, people, before he hits summit. As you see guys, we took the gate off to make it easier for Chris. But it's still a tight gap. That's how we like them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we like our five mil gap. Like the other thing is, it's this bit here. What's it, twitchy cap? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this bit, Easy, people. How we do it? And just oh, like that, one. you in the back yeah, garden. We've ever had, is it? Uh, no, we've had order. Wow. Panka Ali kicking in. Panka Chano. <laughs> Righty ho, peeps. It's quarter to 12. We've smashed that. Got that almost dug out to depth there. Needs a little skim off it. Boys are going round now and we're neating up the edges. So we've set our line all the way down. Connell's gonna turn the radio off. Is built for it now. Built for you too, aren't you, mate? Yeah, great. <laughs> so we're pinging these lines in now, straighten all these up, get all the soil gone. And then we're gonna chuck all the bricks on the pile out there. And it's going in. Then we're gonna start on the footings. Aren't we, Con? Or is that not today's job? Let's get a close up here. Am I getting off in my face? Is that today's job or? No, it's tomorrow's job. It's tomorrow's footings. job, this guy's thinking. I'm not thinking, I'm telling. Always oh, telling. I'm telling you, bro. Footings is tomorrow's job. He's telling. Too much to do. doing quite well, though, when you look at it from this angle. With Go and show the massive pile up front. Okay, come on then. Come on then, hold my hand. Let's go together. Hold my hand. Why'd you... Get away from me. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take Bert to the bands. Ooh. Coming out of the banter. <laughs> Guy's got bands for days, you know. Do you want to hold my hand while we go around corner? Let me do let me, it for let me you. It Come on, and Daddy, let's oh, go. Oh, Daddy. Over the barra. Oh, yeah, boy. A bit stretch. Which way do you want to go? You go through the garage and I'll go through here. Meet you around front. Let's have a look at Connell's pile. Oh, look at that. Size of that. Look. Hiya. Hiya. Look at the size of the pile that he's brought out. He's so oh, proud of himself. Like. Stand on the top. Oh, it's flat. Well, yeah, I've got 14 stone a hip. 15, 15 stone a hips. Uh, like mine, Everest a second. Put your hand in the air like Rocky. Is it one hand or two? <laughs> I'm like, I kind of, I don't know, like a bit of both, innit? There we go. 
Neighbours looking at him, thinking he's absolutely mental. Look at that. Let's just scan over here so we don't just point it at her. Can we zoom in? She's saying, what are these guys doing? What are they doing? Making a mess. There we go, we'll zoom Michael out. Ways. So, over and out, we're off. Catch on the rebound. Catch on the rebound, yeah. Everybody, it is Nick at BMP Paving and I'm back. I wasn't here yesterday, as you can tell by the videos, Chris took over. Um, I had some appointments and, and whatever I had to do deal with for my eyes. So um, yeah, hopefully getting that sorted soon because it's not fun driving around when everything's blurry constantly. Or should I say living with everything blurry, it's not just driving around. Anyway, in a minute we'll hop out the van, we'll have a little look around, see what they've uh, what they've done. I don't know what Chris has put on video yet, so I don't want to give you a walk around and talk about it all yet until I've seen what he said he's probably explained what's going on um but yeah a bit of a bit of a nightmare at the minute our bricklayer is having problems i think he's starting a big contract monday so we're struggling for time so we're frantically trying to get this footing in on this job um today and tomorrow well the bricklayer's coming tomorrow so we've got to have some footing in today it shouldn't be a problem but um i think it's a push we've got the bricklayer for two days and i think it's a little bit of a push to get it done in two days but Luke's a good guy. We'll, we'll work something out, or we'll, we'll sort something. Might be a case of we get what we have to get done, and someone comes next weekend and does a bit of brickwork. Um, something that did make me chuckle. I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, so I was on Instagram the other day, and this post came up that they were making a new Rise of the Foot Soldier movie. You know those ones with, yeah, those British really cheap. I quite like them to be fair, but they're pretty cheesy. Uh, but that, they're cool. I, I quite enjoy watching a couple of them. Um, so anyway, there was some, some post on Instagram about the fact they were making a new Rise of the Foot Soldier movie. And I just assumed it was like a movie, you know, one of these ones that pops up sponsored. I don't follow it. So I commented underneath, um, oh, brilliant, Rise of the Foot Soldier 7, Pat Tate in space, right? Just checking the mickey like it's just gone on too long kind of thing. But I, I, like I said, I like the movies. Anyway, I didn't realise it was the actor's Instagram. You know, the guy who plays, um, is it? Tony Tucker, the honey monster guy with the mad hair. It was that actor's actual page. So he's blocked me. So it popped up again the other day and I went to look at something and um, I thought, why can't I comment on this? And I remembered what I'd put and he's, he's blocked me. So um turns out the old, uh, them lot aren't as, uh, as tough as me cat. <laughs> these, these odd men uh, on this movie. These, these, these actors are all dead odd and they can't take a little, it was a joke. But yeah, whatever. Anyway, it did make me giggle. Just the comment, Pat Tate in space. I thought that was brilliant. Rise of Foot Soldier 7, Pat, Pat Tate in space. So yeah. So anyway, yeah, in a minute. I'm here early today. I set off. I, I won't sure how long it takes. So I'll end up getting here ridiculously early. So I'll just have to sit in the van now and talk to myself. But um, yeah, happy days. Let's get rocking and rolling. Okay, so we're just clearing all this foot in. Finishing the dig out now. Got some stone on its way. Get these footings in very shortly. So... Yeah, the battle or the saga continues. Good morning, everybody. This is the second pile going. I think we took uh, Chris showed you on the time lapse yesterday. Uh, we've we've did like a, a neat, a clean soil load. I think he took away. So this is all the, the next load, which is a mixed load. So we're just waiting for Dave. Uh, we're having to barrow around here. Uh, again, I think they showed you the difficulties in getting the machine through, but we've done it. So the lads are barrowing around here. Feel like Annika Rice. That was a name, I think it was. Challenge Annika. And here we go, this is gonna be the new patio. So, I think Chris already said, we've got new walling. New walling going in here, a long ran all the way back up to the top with like Yorkstone, uh, not Yorkstone, Indian sandstone walling. We're all dug out now to depth. We're gonna stone this up. This will be, we're basically extending the block paving out. Um, got my fair, my famous uh, assistant, Paul here. The beardless wonder. He can't win, bless him. Is look, the man, the myth, the legend, David White, Mighty White, DJ Project Limited, is here to fetch this muck away and drop us off some roadstone, which we much need. 
So we'll flip over to a little time lapse. We'll watch that getting grabbed away because we know how much you love a little time lapse. Things are moving, so we should get the stone in and then get the footing in today. As poor little Jordan look who makes do everything while he sits in his cab. This is the truth of David White exposed. Loading it to the barrows, running that round the back. We'll get the road stone in, then we'll get the footings in. Okay, so that's all the footings dug out and cleared here. We're going to reuse the original footing here, however, we need to install a new one now uh, along well, the whole bank, really. So, Ryan and Chris are just running that in flush and run it all the way around. It's a big foot in. I think it's about 20 odd linear metres of foot in. So, uh, but it's coming together. We've got the row stone in. This all need cleaning off, obviously. We're tying into the existing, so it'd be like new and old. Uh, but it'll look, it'll look good when it's all in and cut in. So, um, yeah, we've got brickies coming tomorrow. We'll get some walling up. It's definitely, yeah, uh, it's going to be quite impressive, I think, this one. And the walling's like top end, like it's Indian sandstone walling, so it's really nice stuff. So it's going to look really good. Okay, so that's all the footings in. Well, I say all. The lad's just doing this extra bit on the corner. So that's all the footing in. Ready for the brick layer tomorrow. Okay, so the blocks have arrived. They're a stone market Indian sandstone. I think they're called a vintage walling or something. I mean, three different sizes, but they're a beautiful, beautiful block, mighted front. So like I say, the guy's spared no expense on this walling. So we've got a couple of packs of that. I've ordered a couple more meters today because I'm just a little bit unhappy with the amounts um, and I can't afford to run short. The bricklayer's coming over the weekend, obviously it's bank holiday. So if we run out of anything, we're going to be pretty screwed uh, until Tuesday, which is going to cause mayhem. So yeah, uh, that's pr pretty much it for today. It's Thursday, about three o'clock now. Uh, in the morning, we'll get here, we'll get all these loaded round the back, get, um, get on the mixer, get the bricklayer set up and hopefully get some rock and roll and get things, uh, get this wall in. So hopefully start laying Tuesday. So you're something falls here. Now you've shaved that beard off, you got a pretty mouth, boy. Hey. You don't make any kind of jokes at work, please. Why? Because it's bang out of order, isn't it? Bit, uh, bit of harass there. Bit of sexual harassment there. That is. Okay. I'll sue you. Sue me? Yeah. I got no. What do you want the van? You I'll can have it. Take that van off your. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Them, oh, them rims. They're mine. Do you like those spinning tires, man? Check them bad boys out. The little hubcaps. You know the score. I think the tires might be looking at you know. I'm not showing the viewers. Hey, special effects, isn't it? I've made the tires look bold on special effects. Ah oh, no, they've got a little bit. A couple of mil there, should be all right. Don't look at the zip ties either. The zip ties, that's what holds the hubcaps on, bro. This urn, you know, in the 1900s, mate, 1920, they'd have been top dollar. Nice. <laughs> yeah. What do you think you're doing, rolling in late? Rolling in, oh, you Friday are not rolling in late. <laughs> Friday feeling. You've got about you, you said, oh, I told, I told you last week. Listen, you're living in the past, mate. Eddie Burks, if you bring us all the McDonald's in, hell no. If you're coming in late, you have to bring us all the coffee or a Mac is. <laughs> Friday, innit? Hang on, Chris is late every day. Yeah, bring her in. Uh, that is an allegation, and you <laughs> made it on video. That's You're slander. liable, slander. Yeah, that is fact. <laughs> if you think, do the maths here, right? But if you think Chris has probably been consistently late. between 10 minutes and 30 minutes late for 15 years, he owes me about three years off work. <laughs> like I literally am owed about three, about three years unpaid. So that's what we have to work for towards. The camera is this way. No one wants to see you, what mate. About the arrow too when he leaves early as well. Yeah, oh, leaves yeah. early. He's always, he's like a thing in here. Um, he's always last year and first to go. Yeah. What a man. 
What a guy. <laughs> Can you imagine him on Titanic? He'd been straight off, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. He would have pushed He'd been kicking, ki he'd been boat. kicking, kicking oh, kids oh, off the boat. Oh, he, he would. He would kick it. He would, he'd be like, there'd be people drowning and he'd just be on like a 70 foot boat just on his own with some oars. Yeah. Like, honestly, that's the kind of guy Living we're dealing with. He lives a dream. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to have a campaign here for Nick to get a year off paid at least. I'll settle for a year. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. It's another rainy one. Uh, it's not too bad. I, th I think the worst of it's over. I'm actually currently parked under a tree, so it's a bit more dramatic. But the weather at the minute is just up and down. It just changes on a daily. Um, you have to excuse. I just want to point out as well, I don't do my hair, you know. This is bed, well, shower head. I get out of bed, have a shower, and this is how we end up. So one day it's up, one day it's down, who knows. Um, however, we are getting out of hat wearing season. I've noticed the last few days that I keep the woolly out on them by lunchtime. I think, oh, I do feel a bit... Bit, feel a bit dizzy and it's probably because uh i'm overheating a little bit all these layers on so we'll start changing them anyway so we've got the brick layer arriving today and we are going to uh start laying some stone wall in oh a bit of a push the brick layer's got two days i don't know how plausible it is i think there's eight corners in this wall um although it was only five course block at the back it's doable uh with a push so it just depends whether and how far we get however we have got a contingency plan we've got a backup plan so if it's uh if it can't be done in two days at least we can get to where we need to get to so um yeah in a minute i'll hop out the van and we'll start rocking and a rolling go on then see if you grab out oh, missed it again oh you're never going to get me two audio <laughs> you knew that was coming Okay, so that's all the Indian sandstone walling loaded round, or Stone Market vintage walling, I believe it's called. We've got Luke here this morning, Arcor Construction, doing our brickwork, or block work, I don't know what you refer to it as. Just building up this first corner. It's looking good, difficult to work with these are. They're all sort of the non, not uniform, and the faces are different, joint sizes, slightly different. But it's early stage at the minute, but uh, say we'll get on with this over the weekend, and hopefully when you guys see the next video this walk shall be in this is where i leave you today mate leave the bricklayer in yours ryan's capable hands yeah yeah it's up to you mate you can uh, jump in the van with me and tickle me a pom pom if you fancy it well i get going yeah if you tickle my pom pom in the van let's go we having some yeah Come on, then. all right hop in i'll give you a pay rise <laughs> 